well. They are definitely ready. Oh. Now, you have been getting your gunge votes in this morning, and we've added Why all up. Me? And no, they're in this know. little it's envelope. Might be you. Okay, guys, before, don't worry, don't worry. Um, let's check in with our mashup monarch, Jessica, to see who she voted for. Who did you vote for, Jessica? I voted for... Jeez! Oh! Jessica. Wow, I hope the Queen wow. does that in the Queen's speech this year. <laughs> That'd be great. OK, well, let's see if your vote has counted. Oh, no. Counted them all up. See if the people at home have voted the same. It's always pretty close. Now, We're doing a drum roll. I do We're need a little bit of help. <clears throat> Megan, there we go. All right, with 55% oh, of the oh, vote, oh, the person oh, getting yeah. gushed is... Lindsay. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, look at that face. I'm oh, you dear. Dear. Cheer up, it's Christmas. Stop laughing. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come on, then. Yes. I'm a bitch. Yes. Stop it. Oh, oh, oh. Um, is it happening now? Yes, it's happening right. We're now. live, Lindsay. It's live TV. Okay, take a seat. All right, take a seat there. Okay, what so your gunge. It's the gunge moment. Oh, That's not it. It's a very popular no, part of the show. It's so not okay, so the gunge. Your gunging will last as long as it takes you to read out all of the items. Oh, we're going quick in the 12 days of Christmas. Difficult to pull them out with your mouth full. in a pear tree. Johnny, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Johnny. Oh, I'm I'm actually livid. Okay, well, <laughs> no, you're, I'm livid. You're getting gunged by Jake over there. The guys from Mike Lowry and our crew members as oh, well. No, they this make up the our pocket days. My life. I'm Are you ready? ready? This over the weeks. Johnny, stand back. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> The first one you missed, drummers, drummers drumming, and then all of the rest. I can't see. Oh. I mean, I didn't even hear you say anything, Lindsay. <laughs> Are you okay? No, obviously I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a lot more gunging coming up next oh. week in the yeah. final show of the series, and here, here's what else you can expect. <laughs> How are we feeling? Really awful. I've just yes. seen how many buckets are around the place. Mm, she did just take a little peekaroo, indeed. <laughs> okay, so I have my wow. massive golden envelope. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Terrific. Don't, Don't be nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Don't cry, dear. Don't cry. You okay. It, <laughs> uh, it is absolutely awful. Yeah. <laughs> but don't get don't don't get scared. I can reveal. Uh. With 53% of the vote, Ooh. the star getting it? slimed is Naomi! Yes! Yes! Come on! Please. Oh, get up, get up. Come on, we have to sit down Thank over you. here. Sit what? down, sit down. Oh, I'm in a country pub, I've got no hair, and there's no hair dryers. Oh. And... How are you feeling, it's darling? It's fine, it's fine. It's yes, it fine. is. Well, Whatever. guess what? It is time. For question slide! Wait, you're Welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimbleby. Yes, she is. Naomi, you have been chosen by the public vote to be slimed on Question Slime. But how much slime ends up on you depends on how many questions mm -hmm. you want to get right. Yes, well, for every question you get correct, you get a point. For every question you get incorrect, you get glorious, luscious, delicious buckets slime of slime all over you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to see. Good to see. Can we please have 90 seconds on the clock? My question. 90. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. We're getting into Nine position. I'd complain oh, yeah. later rather than now. <laughs> right, everyone, get into position, please. Okay. Your question slime starts now. Who released a song Paradise in 2018? Coldplay. Incorrect, slime her. Henry VIII had oh. Henry VIII had six wives. What was the name of his third wife? Third. Third. Anne Boleyn. Slime her. Wow. Incorrect. 
According to NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, what is the radius of the Earth at the equator in kilometers? That's ridiculous. I do not know. Slime her! According to the official chart company, which artist was 2017's UK Christmas number one? I literally didn't listen to that question because I was just feeling it drip. Well, I'm feeling it even more! Slime her! Oh! oh. Slime. I'm getting better at it! What is the top colour in a rainbow? Red. Correct! Red. One point! On average, how many hours does a wild elephant sleep per night? I don't know. I should know what I do. It's incorrect. Four. Two. Oh. What fan name is given to Pixie Lot's fans? Lottie. Lottie. No, you Lottie. might as well just stop there. Lottie. Incorrect. Oh! Ooh, wow, oh, wow, oh. rat. <laughs> Where is the world's deepest lake? Deepest lake. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. Slime her. Oh, oh gosh. That one. What is the correct name given to a triangle with three equal sides and three equal angles? Oh. Yes, correct. Oh. And we are over. Your time is up. Oh. Okay, you got two points correct. Two points correct. Um. That's the leaderboard. <laughs> that's two points. However, <laughs> however, we couldn't leave you there. No, here. A Saturday mashup or Friday mashup today, as it happens. We're going to give you one more opportunity to increase oh, yeah. your score tenfold. Well, not tenfold. You get five more points if you get it right. Our oh, big question. However, if Lovely. you get this question wrong, you face the super slime. What's the super slime? I hear you ask. I'll tell you what. It's ten buckets of slime thrown at you simultaneously from this lot. Oh, wow, look at them. Wow, we really need to get into this now. All right, here is your ultimate question, Naomi. In total, how many words are there in all seven Harry Potter books? Oh, you are joking. 36. <laughs> 36! Oh, in all the books, I don't that think it's That sounds a bit silly. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I was no. thinking titles. 36! So what did no. you have before that? One million eight and eighty-four thousand one hundred and seventy words. Slime her! Super slime! Oh, ooh, smash it, really. Ooh, Lovely wow. stuff. Naomi, you look in greater spirits than they anticipated. How do you feel? Is that the end? That is the end. I've never felt so glamorous on television. Ever. Oh, lovely, lovely, Thanks, lovely Tony. stuff. Thanks for taking part. Oh, dear. Question slime. Oh, dear. Well, right now, I think we need to get into some music. Here it is of the winner of Got What It Takes. It's Rio Liana with Wings. Woo! Of it. Lindsay, Ricky, come over Hi. hither. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> very, very anxious. Mm, I bet. Yeah, yeah, they've got the yeah. flip flops on oh, from yeah. Things and the Thing. Gorgeous. Ricky, you could have got a pedicure there, mate. You could have oh, no. got a pedicure. No, I'm not feet no. <laughs> don't film Lindsay's feet. Okay, it is time to reveal the results. Uh, it's a fix. Fix. Okay. Well, I can reveal that with 62% of the vote, the star getting slimed is Lindsay. <laughs> We're not joking, it happens again. every time, Lindsay. Get used to it. I'm not coming on Lins. this show again. Come over yeah. here. Yeah. Follow me. How are you feeling, Lindsay? I'm really angry. Yes, Why? well, you should. It's always so sad. In a field. A comfy. This is a new <laughs> low. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it I is time for <laughs> question time. Welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. Good to see you, David. As nice always, to see you, good David. to see you. No, David's not. Lindsay Russell, you have been nominated for a sliming this morning. <laughs> Un unlucky, but of course, just how much slime you get on you is quite up to you mm. and how many questions you can answer correctly. Well, David, I'd let you know. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. OK, for every question you get right, you get a point, Lindsay. For every question you get wrong, you get your luscious, lovely festival hair covered in a bucket of slime. Ooh. Glorious. <laughs> Can we please have 90 seconds on the clock? Yeah. I'm going to get myself into position. Yes, thank you, here. David. You get over there, David. Thank you, David. No problem, David. 
Okay, your question slime starts now. Measuring a horse's height is correctly referred to by a unit of measurement known as what? Hands. Correct, a point. Which Swedish singer features on Clean Bandit's 2017 hit song, Symphony? Oh no, I forgot it. Mm. Slime oh, is incorrect. Oh, it's not Abba. Oh. How many seconds are there in a day? 28? No, incorrect, Slime Heart. Who is the lead singer of the Bumps? Brad Lee Simpson. Correct. What part of your body, beginning with the letter T, joins a muscle to a bone? No, incorrect, Slime Heart. Why, where did the Olympic Games originate? Athens, three. Well done. What, uh, what is three fifths of 50? Three-fifths of 50! Three-fifths of 50! Get the slime her! Oh. Ooh, groups of lions are known as what? A pack of a herd. No, if you watch Lion King, Again. you know it was a pride. It's a pride, incorrect. <laughs> Which female American singer had a hit in 2017 called Bad Liar? I don't know, Beyonce? No, incorrect. That's not an slime her. How many sides does a hexagon have? Six. Correct point. Oh. Perfect Strange is a hit song by which English DJ? DJ. Marlon Harris? Jonas Blue, incorrect oh. slime her. What are female elephants called? Ladies. Quick to do! <laughs> oh, slime her, it's a cow. Oh, my suit is cow. just coming asunder. Oh, and my glasses have come <laughs> off and broken, it David. It went up her nose. Lindsay, Lindsay, you've got four, four correct, well which done, is actually mate. top of our leaderboard, which we've kind of left haphazard at the moment, I'll be honest. Four correct, but not to worry, you still have a golden opportunity to get five more points to your overall total. With our yeah. ultimate question! It's our all ultimate gone in the pocket. Oh, it's everywhere. You'll be, you'll be finding that for weeks. Lindsay, if yeah. you get our ultimate question correctly, you get five points to your total. However, if you don't slime me, don't slime David Dimbleby! However, if you get it incorrect, you will face our super slime. Okay. Yes, that is 10 buckets of slime thrown in you simultaneously by this lot over here. Oh, nice. oh lovely. It's time for the ultimate question. Yes, yes, so oh, indeed. Hello. Yes, hello. The ultimate question is this, Lindsay Russell. How many steps are there in the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> She's not going to get it, is she? You're not going to get it! <laughs> Super Slime Oh! It's delicious! Alright, alright. Okay. Oh! Well done, Lindsay, well what? done. Um, now you just come. Oh, I think it's time for some music. She's just going to continue getting slimed. Probably. Here is Danelle Mangena with Bang Like a Drum! I <laughs> you have been voting all morning for who you'd like to see slime oh, amongst yeah, these yeah. three. Yeah, guys, how oh, are you yes. feeling currently? Nervous. Nervous, are you? You should be. You should, should be. be. Okay. okay, well, I have in my hand here my golden envelope, which has the results in. It was very close. Literally 1% Ooh. between two of you. One of you. Here we go. With 45% of the vote, the star getting slimed is... <coughs> oh! 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 Yeah! 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 Come on, there's no time to waste over here. Follow me all the way to the question slime podium. Pop yourself down there. You might want to take your shoes off as well because we are about to play question slime. Welcome yes. to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. Good to have you here, David. Really close to me, David. I'm very but thank close to you, David. Yes, I feel yes. emotionally and physically close to you. You David. look great, David. Thank you, David. So lovely, do you, David. Lovely, lovely. Now, so Cleo, unfortunately, you lost the vote. <laughs> and so for you are getting covered in slime. Covered in it, but just how much slime ends up on you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Oh, that is isn't right. that right, David? Yes, it's right, David. It for is, every it, David? question you get right, you will get a point. For every question you get wrong, your lovely, luscious brown hair mm. will get covered in slime. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cleo, are the rules clear? Yeah, got it. Okay. Right. 
Get into your position, please, David. I shall, David. Off you pop, David. <laughs> thank you, David. Any time, David. Yes, thank you, David. <laughs> OK, 90 seconds on the clock, please. There it is, lovely. Cleo, your question slime begins now. <gasps> what year did the Battle of Hastings take place? It's, it's, um, 66. What? 66? OK, correct. Oh. OK, <laughs> almost. How many muscles does a cat's ear have in each? Ew, 32 in each ear. Oh oh <laughs> Which football team did France play in the 2018 World Cup final? Croatia! Correct. Oh, no. What is the name of the band's debut single released in 2013? I'm sorry, Can we dance slime? Oh in what year did BBC Soap <gasps> EastEnders air its first episode? 2002? In 1985. Oh, no. oh, no. Slime the closest star to the earth? Um, the, the sun? Yes! Oh, How many weeks did Little Mix's album get weird spending the UK albums chart? Oh, three. 94! <laughs> what year was the Great Fire of London? Um, 14... I don't 14, know! 7! are found on every continent on Earth except for one. What is it? Um, this is, I don't know. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm I have to go. Slide. <laughs> David, David, David. David. Which country features myself, a maple David. leaf on its flag? We're Canada! We're Canada oh, is dude. correct! Where are the ears of a cricket located? But on the side of its head? No, on its legs! Oh, oh, your cat, you oh, well. Oh, wow. Oh, this stuff. David, oh, David, I've lost, I've lost my mind, David. Fantastic. Oh, Ooh, fine, David, because like slam there. Oh, it really suits I'm so enjoying it. Yeah, okay. she's getting into it now. Now I can yeah. confirm you had four points. Four points Ooh, is your well total. But a little round of applause. Well done, we all Congratulations, but we're going to give you one final chance to add to that all-important sum total of points with the ultimate question. Ooh. Yes, indeed, the ultimate question. Well, well, well. if you get that ultimate question right, we'll add 20 points to your current four score. Get it wrong and you will be covered in super slime. The super slime, David! Yes, what is it I hear you say, Cleo? Oh. Yeah, you did say that. She did, Take I Take a look. I It's banned in several countries, actually, oh, it is, it is. and rightly so, I think. Rightly so. Oh, right. Okay. So. Uh, okay. I've got my my cards ready. Um, okay. So you are clear on this, Cleo, aren't you? It's just a question. Right? It's just a question, Cleo. Yeah, I'm ready. But it's a super slime if you get it incorrect. I'm, I'm ready. You, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Here is your super, your ultimate question that I've lost. But I know it off by heart. Come on, okay. Dave. How long in kilometres is the wall of the Great Wall of China? Oh, no! I don't know! Give us an answer, Cleo! Um, 150! 21,196! <laughs> you finished with I think it's the same amount of points you had before how do you feel I feel great yes! 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 and that's the super slime guarantee David Make yourselves comfortable, sit yourselves down. It's the last time you'll be dry for quite some time. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, so it is time for Question Slime.
Welcome to Questions Live. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. It's good to see you, David. Good to see you too, David. Always, David. Guys, Lovely. you have been chosen by the public to face the sliming this morning in Question Slime. But just how much slime ends up on you is decided at how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? That is correct, David. Let's now, the rules are very, very simple. For every question you get correct, you'll score a point. For every question you get incorrect, Lots of wonderful slime will cover your Ooh. luscious blonde and brown hair. Are the rules clear, Evie and Olivia Grace? Yes. Okay. Clear to me, David. Okay. Clear so clear to me, David. Yes, get in position, please, David. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. All right. Can I get 90 seconds on the clock, please? You can, David. Thank you, David. All right. Your question, slime, starts now. <gasps> what is 47 times 8? No. <laughs> no. Uh, that is not the answer. No, 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 no. 108. 187. 188. Incorrect, no. Olivia Grace. Slime her. It's 376. OK. Evie, how many faces does a cube have? Oh, my God. I should know this. Can I have six? Six is correct. Oh. Well done. Yeah. Olivia Grace, stratus and cumulus are types of what? Uh, clouds! Yes! Oh, wow. Evie, what is the collective name for a group of hamsters? Hamsters? <laughs> Incorrect. Slime her! It's a horde! <laughs> a horde of hamsters. Olivia Grace, in what part of the body is the cerebellum found? Um, here. I don't know. That's not... No. No! It's incorrect. It's a brain! Slime her! Wow! Evie, yeah. which artist painted the Mona Lisa? <laughs> I should know this. Um, let's go with the guy that chopped his ear off. No, it's not the castle. Oh, Slime oh, 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 Olivia Grace, what is the capital of Germany? Oh, I'm just not going to know this. Slime Heist Berlin! Oh, 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 what's the largest, what's the largest five-digit number? What? What's the largest five-digit number? Slime us! Slime Oh! Yes! We sound so wow. Lovely wow. stuff, Olivia Grace and Evie. You well. have been slimed. How do you feel? I feel ecstatic. Okay. Yeah. It is great. Happy yeah. faces and happy hearts. Well, I can reveal you scored. A rather not impressive two. Two points, two points. But don't you worry, we shall be giving you one final opportunity to add points to so that all-important total with the big question. The ultimate well, question. The ultimate question. We, we do it every week. Oh, yes. Oh. Lovely. Now, get the ultimate question right and you'll receive 20 points on your poor score of two. Uh, get it incorrect and you will be covered, coated, bathed Ooh, in amazing. the super slime. There's no saving it now, Olivia Grace. You're <laughs> covered in it. What is the super slime I hear you ask? What is the super slime, David? It looks like this. <laughs> And rightly so. Okay, right. Now, are you are you ready for this, girls? Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, well, it doesn't matter because we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Can I have some tension music, please? I have here your ultimate question. Thank you, David. <laughs> Get that bucket ready, David. I've got it ready, David. Okay, just in case, just in case. Yes, hold hands. You need that support. Oh, I'm from everywhere. <laughs> here is your ultimate question. How tall is Mount Everest in inches? Oh. <laughs> It's quite easy when you know how, David. Uh, oh, yeah. Millions. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Millions. Two million point eight. Two million point eight. You More than that. Sausages. It's incorrect. <laughs> it's two three hundred and forty-eight thousand three hundred and forty-six. Super slime. Yeah! Yeah! Just did it end, David. We've never had three buckets before. That was almost <laughs> too many buckets. How are you feeling, guys? It's a really uh, nice colour, isn't it? <laughs> it's a lovely colour. It looks great on you. Olivia Grace. Nice. Um, I'm feeling better than ever. I'm, I'm getting slime it. on my microphone, <laughs> Olivia. I'll have to put that down.
us now all morning. You guys at home have been voting for who you'd like to see get slimed between Lena and Vic. Guys, the moment's coming up. How are you feeling? She's confident. I, I think I think it's going to be Vic, to be honest. <laughs> I love it when people commit to something. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out. I have my golden envelope here. And team, can we can we read this out together? Yeah. Okay. We're going to read out all the words. Oh. With... 76 of the votes. The star getting slimed is Vic Hurst. There is no time to wait. You can't. Nothing can save you now. Up you get, up you get. Over to our slime area. Take a seat. Get yourself nice and comfortable because okay. it's the last time you're going to feel comfort this morning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Question Slime. Welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. Nice to see you, David. Nice to see you too, Thank David. Thank you, David. You're welcome. Vic Hope, you have been chosen by the general public to face a sliming and question slime this morning, but how much slime ends up upon you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? That's right, David. I'm glad to hear it, David. Okay. <laughs> For every question you get right, you will score one point. For every question you get wrong, your lovely, luscious hair... Oh, look at it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, she's got a bubble. Your lovely, luscious hair will get covered... covered in slime. As luscious as ours, David. Ooh. Not sure the bubble will help you. Not sure. <laughs> Are the rules very clear to you, David? Yeah. You know what? This is like a lifelong dream to get slimed. Bring it it on. won't be you after this morning, David. Now. David, please get into position. It'll be my pleasure, David. Okay, thank you, David. And I need 90 seconds on the clock. Thank you very much. Okay, Vic Hope, your question slime starts now. Who is the author of the 1964 children's novel Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Oh, Roald Dahl. Correct. Boom. Can you name one of the doctors who present on CBBC's Operation Ouch? Dr. Rand Singh? No, Dr. Ah! Zand! Ah! Or Dr. Chris Slime! <laughs> River Thames in kilometres. In kilometres? I work in Imperial, I don't know. And we have still got the 56. 340 yes! Slimer! Oh, oh, I can't get it wrong, oh, David! Oh, oh. Oh. What is the correct name given to the phobia of balloons? Uh, um, balloonophobia? <laughs> it would make sense, but no, it's globophobia. Oh, oh. oh miss! Get out! <laughs> Which American state is the Grand Canyon in? Um, Nevada. No. Arizona. Oh, oh, what is the largest rodent found in North America? Road. No, like rodent. 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 Um, a massive rat. Beaver. Beaver. <laughs> Which football team won the 2018 FIFA World Cup final? 2018 FIFA World Cup final. This year. This. This year, yeah. Was not Croatia because no. it, it was... No. The Slime Who wrote the tale of Peter Rabbit? Um, the Klaxon saved you. The Klaxon saved you. Vic Hope, you have faced the a slime. Right? I know, slime. I have. I'm light on my feet, David. How do you feel? Got quite a slime in my mouth. A little bit in mouth, a little bit there. Yeah. Lovely to see, lovely to see. But we're going to give you one final chance. I think you answered, let's say, two, three, I one. One, one question correctly. One question correctly, but we're going to give you a chance to get on our leaderboard with a whole load more points if you answer the ultimate question. Oh, yes. Get the ultimate question correct and you will store a 20-point bonus. Add it onto your one. Put you right up top of there on the leaderboard. <laughs> really up top. But get it incorrect, Vic Hope, and you will be absolutely covered, coated, coated in the super slime. What is the super slime I hear you ask? What's the super slime, David? Well, it looks like this. No, no, it's not. It's not. Okay, please, I need some tension music. Ooh, yes, a bit more oohs, please. Okay, here is your ultimate question. Okay. How many seconds does it take Neptune to orbit round the sun? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> How many is it? Um, oh, 12 million gazillion. That's not <laughs> That's a number, a number. David. <laughs> it's not a number. It's actually 5.2 billion seconds super oh. slow high. It's always good to see. Big wow. Hope, you have been super slimed. How are you feeling now? Oh man, that can be taken on my bucket list. Yes. I feel invigorated, I feel alive. Bucket list, he says, cracking jokes even to the end. That was now, but let's take a look at the future. What's coming up next week? Our fantastic guests, we've got Vic Hope, we've got Lena, we've got Flora Diamonds. Oh, Lena Gunning Williams and a big shout out to Nick Wright in Detention Seekers. Make sure you stick around because Max and Harvey are up after us on CBBC and we will see you next week at 9am. Same time guys, 9am. Lots more guns, lots more uh, prizes, push off things in the thing and, and we'll musical be here as well. toilets. I'll see you later. Bye. Seamless. What up? Okay, now you have been voting all morning for who is about to get slimed oh. and I have the results right here in my golden envelope. Oh my With 74% of the vote, the stars getting slimed are the next step, go! Stuff. Get yourself comfortable. Uh, you know the drill by now, guys. It's time for question slime. <laughs> oh, welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble. It is good to see you, David. Good to see you too. David. Always good to see you, David. Okay, next step, girls. You have been voted and chosen by the public to face a sliming this morning. But just how much slime ends upon you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? That is correct. For every lovely. question you get right, you will score one point. For every question you get wrong, your lovely, luscious blonde and luscious brown hair will oh, be covered dear. in slime. Slime! Yes. Slime! Shelby and Sage, yes. are the rules clear? I think so. Okay. okay. David, <laughs> please get in position. It's my pleasure, David. Thank you. 90 seconds on the clock, please. There you go, David. <laughs> Shelby and Sage, yeah. your question slime starts now. Shelby, how many months of the year have only 30 days? Um, 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 30 days of September, April, June, and November, four. Sage, Ooh. how many members are there in the K-pop group BTS? Um, five? Incorrect, seven, slime! <laughs> Shelby, what, who is the longest reigning British monarch? Elizabeth, I don't know. <laughs> the one, the... No, Queen Elizabeth, the Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff. Sage, a clouder is a collective noun for which group of animals? A uh, pardon? A clouder is a group of what? Um, animals, what? Elephants. No, a cat! <laughs> Shelby, mercredi. Mercredi is the French word for which day of the week? Oh my gosh, I haven't done French in like four minutes. Can I give a hint? Uh, 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 Thursday? No, Wednesday! Uh, Say uh, Saturday mashup. <laughs> You're wasting time! Five! Five! Oh. Five. Oh. Shelby, how many sides does a hexagon have? Six! Say, in which country would you find the Angel Falls? Um, um. Venezuela! This morning, how do you feel? I feel great. Great, that's good that's to know. I can get it. it. You've got a total of two points. Two points, not great. We've had better, we've had a better, we've had worse. But don't worry, we're going to give you one final chance to add extra points oh. to that all important total. Aren't we good? Aren't we kind? You're We're amazing. Thank the you. Ultimate question. Go! 
get the ultimate question correct and we will add 20 points to your measly two, putting you right at the top of that leaderboard. Lovely stuff. Yes, Kat's done very <laughs> well, but can you can you beat Kat? All right, get it wrong. You will be completely covered in the super slime. What is a super slime I hear you ask? What is what a super slime, David? It looks like this. Can I have some tension music, please? Okay. Do me a favor, Sage and Shelby. Don't look up. <laughs> Here is your ultimate question. In meters, how tall is the Eiffel Tower in Paris? 70? It's taller than that, Sage. 150. 150. That's not good. 150 meters. That's not it. No, it's not it. It's 324. That was very important. Guys, you have I faced the very super well. slime. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel it's really amazing. It's, it's not coming out of my ears this time. It's I not coming sure. out this time, guys. Coming up <laughs> next week. Yes, everybody! <laughs>、hey. absolutely loving it. Okay, it is that time. It is indeed. All morning, you guys have been voting at home for who you'd like to see getting a sliming. Was it going to be John or was it going to be Brian? How are you、I、feeling, guys? How are you feeling? We can't do both of them. There's the sanctity of the rules of the game. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. A bit nervous, John.、Yeah. Very nervous. Very nervous. I've never been、okay. cringed in my life. Well, there's always time. <laughs> done your, you've done your cardio. Ready、yeah. for it? Okay. All right. I'm going to open my golden envelope. Go for it.、Uh, Oh, it is very close. In fact, by one percent. No way. Oh, with fifty-one percent of the vote, the person getting slimed is. Have a stool just ready to give you a wee rest. Get yourself comfortable. It'll be the last time you feel that feeling all morning. Because Bryony, it's time for question slime. Oh God. Welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby, and I'm David Dimble. Good to see you, David. Good to see you too, David. Always, David. Been different with your hair. That's、uh, just a little bit more sideways than we're shot today. Bryony, you have been chosen by the public to face a sliming this morning. But just how much slime ends up on you is dependent on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? That is right, David.、Oh. For every question you get correct, you will score one point. For every question you get incorrect, your lovely raven hair, a little bit of red, and it will be covered. In slime. Ooh.、Mm. Are the rules clear, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. David, please get into position. My pleasure, David. Thank you very much. Yes. Are you there, David? I'm、right. here, David. Thank you. Ninety <laughs> seconds on the clock, please. Okay, Brianie, your question slime starts now. How many edges does a cylinder have? Two. Correct.、Oh. Rory Graham is the real name of which British singer-songwriter?、Oh, I don't know. Rag and Bone Man Slimer.、Oh! Oh! Oh! I'm getting my eye in, David. What is the square root of a <laughs> hundred? Ten Slimer.、Oh! What、up? two colours are on the Swedish flag?、Uh, blue and yellow. Correct.、Oh! What is Taylor Swift's middle name? Maggie. Alison. <laughs> Slime her. Get her right in there. Don't cover yourself.、Oh, it's like custard. I'll get it in your face. <laughs> custard, you said. No, wrong sketch. <laughs> What is the world's largest, largest living amphibian? Uh, uh, alligator? No.、Nope. Chinese giant salamander.、Oh, Slime her.、Yeah. In what year was YouTube founded? Nineteen ninety four. 2005. Come on, David. Get 
Very yeah. thick this week, David. What is the name of the <laughs> Greek <laughs> goddess associated with the capital city of Athens? Uh, I don't know. Athena. Slimer! Oh. Get that one right in there! Oh. <laughs> How many elements are there on the periodic table? Uh, 509. 118! David, oh. quick! Slimer! Oh. What is the smallest country in the world? Uh, S her slime. Oh, it's I mean, terribly thick slime, David. Isn't yes. it? Is it? <sighs> Bryony, you've taken a sliming. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> thanks. Thanks, thanks. That's not really an emotion, Bryony, but I'll take it. I can reveal. You got two points correct. Two Yay! points, everybody. <laughs> We've had worse, we've had far better, but don't you worry, we're going to give you one final opportunity to add all important points to that total with the ultimate question. <laughs> oh yes, get the ultimate question correct and we will add 20 points to Ooh. your original score, putting you right at the top of the leaderboard. Oh yeah, there it is there, Cat from Pets Fat to Vets, boom, doing very well. How did she get eight? I don't know, she's clever. Oh. All right, so get it wrong, you'll be completely covered in the super slime. Oh, God. <laughs> what is the super slime, I hear you ask? What is the super slime, David? Bryony, it looks like this. Paperwork involved, David, but it's all worth it in the end. It is. Oh, it is. Can I have some tension music, please? Bryony, I say this every week. Don't look up. <laughs> Do if you may. Look up now. Have a look. Oh, yes. You see it there, don't you? OK, here is your ultimate question. How long is Ed Sheeran's most recent album divide in seconds? <laughs> I think it's a, I think I 10,952. That was very confident. <laughs> 10,952. I'm picking up my bucket, seconds. David. <laughs> Incorrect is 2,774. Super slime! <laughs> 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 you faced a super sliming. How do you feel now? Amazing! Good to see you look resplendent. Well, let's find out what's coming up in next week's show, shall we? Match of guests, we've got Bryony from Bake Off, John Barnard, and Ray Morris. Amazing. Now, FOMO with Max and Harvey is up after us, so make sure you stick around for that. And we'll be back. See you later. We'll be back next week at 9 a.m. on Saturday on CBB Soon. For who you'd like to see taking a sliming? Will it be mm. Dominic or will it be Kimberly? Oh. Guys, how are you feeling? Nervous. I just have a feeling it's going to be me. <laughs> just a feeling. What about you, Dom? I'm hoping it's going to be Kimberly. Oh, well. <laughs> well, Nicely even. Let's find out. I'm about to reveal it. <laughs> With 63% of the vote, the celebrity getting slimed is... Kimberly! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Get yourself up, Kimberly. Take yourself over to our Western Slime area. We have a stool ready and prepared. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, thank you. It'll be the last time you feel like that this morning. Because right. we're going to play a Question Slime. Hello and welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. It's good to see you, David. Good to see you too. David. Always a pleasure. Kimberly, Thank you have been you, chosen by our voting public to face a sliming Perfect. this morning. But just how much slime ends up on you depends on how many answers you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? That is correct, David. For every question you get right, we will score one point. For every question you get wrong, Kimberly, your face will be covered in slime. Are the rules clear? They are clear, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> David, please get into position. My pleasure, David. Are you there? I'm there, David. 90 seconds on the clock, please. Kimberly Wyatt, your question slime starts now. What is the highest mountain in Wales? 
I don't even know any mountains in Wales. Snowden. Slimer. Oh, that's a lovely start, David. Oh, in our solar system, what planet lies between Venus and Mars? Saturn. Earth. Oh, Slime her. It's oh, aggressive. <laughs> what is 40 squared? 400? 1600. Slime her. Oh. 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 How many sides does a rhombus have? <laughs> a rhombus have? My, um, 12. No, four. Slime her. David. Take it like a champ. <laughs> Which Olympic gold medal winning athlete won BBC Sports Personality of the Year in 2017? <laughs> Mo! Mo! <laughs> Who won? Correct. Who won I'm a Celebrity 2018? Uh, Harry Redknapp. Oh. It is correct. In UK politics, an MP is a member of what? Parliament. Correct. I don't like How many faces going, does a dodecahedron have? A what? Dodecahedron! Dodecahedron! <laughs> Twelve! Swipe her! <laughs> <laughs> Which eight letter word means the opposite of interior? <laughs> uh, exterior! What is the chemical symbol gold for gold? Chemical symbol for gold? I don't know! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, lovely for oh, one there. Oh, Kimberly. Kimberly, you faced a sliming. Tell me how you feel. I feel amazing. She feels yeah. amazing, guys. Well, don't <laughs> worry. I know you're worried that you only got four points and the total. Wait, wait, I think seven or eight is the top. So yeah, we've had better, we've had worse. But we're going to give you one final opportunity to add all important <laughs> points to that total <laughs> with the ultimate question. Yes, oh yes. Get yes. Oh no. The ultimate question, correct? We will add 20 points to your original score, putting you right at the top of our leaderboard, right above Cat from the Pets Factor Vets. Get it incorrect, and you will be covered in the super slime. What is the super slime I hear you ask? What is the super slime, David? It looks like this. I feel really good about life. I feel invigorated, I feel alive! Yeah. So controversial it is, we've had our own vote of no confidence in it. Yes. And it has been found wanting. Kimberly, how does it taste? It's really slimy in my mouth. Yeah, nice, <laughs> all right. Okay, so here is your ultimate question. Tension music, please. Okay. In centimeters, how tall is the shard? Mike, coming over to you now. There's plenty of time. Take, the your, answer time. There, Take your time. In centimetres, how tall is the shard? Take your time. You take your slow time. One million dollars. <laughs> A nice even number there. One million. One million centimetres. <laughs> you already know it's incorrect. <laughs> it's 30,600 <laughs> super slime Do me the honour of telling me how you feel after your super slime. I feel so festive! So festive! Yeah. Yeah. Like a Christmas bauble! I am! And it does set quite hard <laughs> as well. Let's take a look at what's coming up next week, shall we? Kimberly <laughs> gets a slimy Kimberly Wyatt! <laughs> Dominic Brun and Rodan Park, everybody! A big thank you to Zara and Brian in Detention Seekers. And don't forget, next week we've got a Christmas extravaganza! Slime in that, which oh, I'm, uh, I, we will definitely, definitely I'm be slimed. Not, to that at not all. as much as that, Kim. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just freaking oh. awesome. Oh. It's like shampoo in my hair. Really oh, delicious. Lovely awesome. stuff. <laughs> A sigh of relief, perhaps, Dominic? Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing, huh? Now we've seen what it's like. Don't right, now you're Max eyeing this up. You'll be back again CBC for another slime. right now. We will see you next week at 9 a.m. Bye! Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> percent of the vote. The star getting slimed is Jenny! Get yourself up, Jenny, get yourself up and follow me to our sliming area. 
say. Sit yourself down just over here. Make yourself comfortable, oh, if you will. It'll be the final you. time you feel that this morning as we play for the very first time in 2019. Question Slime. Welcome to Question Slime and following the sad retirement from David Dimbleby and Mr. David Dimblesee, I'm Fiona Bruce. And I'm Bruce Fiona. It is lovely to see you, Bruce. And good to see you too, Fiona. Always, Bruce. Thank you. Jenny, you have been chosen by the public to face a sliming this morning, but just how much slime ends up on you depends on how many answers you answer questions you answer correctly. There we Very go. nearly said that right, Jenny. Very nearly said it. Yes, that is Isn't correct. that right, Bruce? <laughs> Fiona. Thank you. Bruce, Bruce. Thank you. All right. So for every question you get correct, you will score one point. For every question you get incorrect, you'll be face covered with slime. Mm. Are the rules clear, Jenny? They are. <laughs> oh, gosh. OK. So, Fiona, yes, please Mr. get Bruce. in position. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Can I have 90 <laughs> seconds? Oh. On the clock, please. Thank you. Jenny. Your question slime starts now. In which country would you find St. Basil's Cathedral? Italy. Russia. Slime oh. Oh. Adam Quiles is the real name of which chart-topping DJ? Um, DJ Khaled. No, Calvin Harris. No. Slime oh. Oh, that was aggressive. <laughs> Sculptures of which animal lie at the base of the Nelson's Column in London? I have no idea. Not me, but it's lions. Slimer! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Careful. I've been pra Fiona's been practicing, Fiona. Bruce. You've been going to the gym, Fiona. The Nile is the longest river in which continent? Um, I should know this. Um, Russia? Africa! Wow. Which football team won the 2017 Premier League title? Uruguay. Chelsea! Oh, oh, my God. oh my God! I don't got my bucket, Bruce! How do you spell Mississippi? M I S I P. No, Slimer! Oh. Double S. It's a double S in the beginning. How many consonant, consonants are there in the alphabet? Uh, t uh, 20, uh, 19. 21! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what is the capital city of Uruguay? Oh, um, uh, <gasps> I don't know. Montevideo. Simon! Oh, oh, Lovely oh, stuff, Jenny. Uh, how you have been slimed? How do you feel? I feel just brilliant. She feels just brilliant. <laughs> I can reveal. You got. Nobody's telling me a certain amount. Me. Nothing. You got no point. No point. No oh. points. No points. You got oh, zero oh. points. Oh, oh, yeah. Zero points, Jenny. <laughs> So you go right at the bottom at the moment, but we're going to give you one final opportunity. Oh, one lovely opportunity to add all important points to that total with the ultimate question. Yes, get the ultimate question correct and we will add a whopping 20 points to your score. Oof. Putting you right at the top of our leaderboard, right at the top there. But get it incorrect. Oh, and Jenny, you will be faced with the super slime. What is a super slime, I hear you ask? What is a super slime, Bruce? It looks like this. I feel really good about life. I feel invigorated, I feel alive. Each yeah. bucket's made of the leftovers from the Cruise Christmas dinner. Bruce. Lots of gravy. Lots, Lots of, gravy. of gravy in there, little bits okay. of meat. Okay, can we have some tension music, please? Because, Jenny, it is time. For your ultimate question. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Get ready for it. Here it is. How many rooms are there in Buckingham Palace? I'd say 54. 54. 54. It's a wonderful answer, a 54. wonderful guess. Ooh. There are indeed 775. <laughs> You have been super slimed. How do you feel now? Amazing. Amazing, everybody.
Now, all morning, you guys at home have been voting for who you'd like to see slimed at the end of the show. Will it be Ricky? Yeah. Oh, will it be yeah. Guys, just a quick check. How are you feeling about it now? Nervous. 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 Well, you should be. Well, we can find out. It, I can say it was very, very, very close. 4% oh. is the difference. Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, with 54% of the vote, the person getting slimed is... Oh, my God. <laughs> Come with me, come with me, there's no time to waste. Make yourself comfortable, sit yourself down. It can be all changed in those final few minutes. You can pet that wig. Yeah. Okay, yes. Well, I'll, I'll give you another one if you need. honey. As we play... Welcome to Quest and Slime. I'm Fiona Bruce. And I'm Bruce Fiona. Good to see you, Bruce. Good to see you too, Fiona. Always. Thank you, Bruce. Thank oh, you. Team Mabuse. You've been chosen by the public to face a sliming this morning, but just how much slime ends up on you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, Bruce? That is right, Fiona. For every question you get correct, you will score one point. For every question you get incorrect, you'll be covered in a bucket of slime. Ooh, Are the rules clear, OT? Yes. OK, yeah, breathe it through. OK, Fiona, please get into position. My pleasure, Bruce. Thank you very much. I'll have 90 seconds on the clock. And, Oti, your right. question slime starts now. <gasps> Jessica Ellen Cornish is the real name of which British music artist? I have no idea. Jessie J. Yes. Slime her. <laughs> Who became the UK Prime Minister in 1979? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 City of Kenya. Um, 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 I'm like, I know, capital city. Oh my gosh, Nairobi. Yay! 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 Which country has won the Eurovision Song Contest the most times? Is it uh, Sweden? Ireland. Ireland! Oh, all at the back. Which British inventor is most widely credited for inventing the telephone? Um, is it is it, is it uh, Belly? Uh, 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 Alexandra? No, Alexandra! Alexandra! Ring Belly! Oh, oh, nearly! It's what? Alexandra Graham Bell! Oh. <laughs> nearly is not good enough, OT! Bruno Tonioli is a judge on which TV show? <laughs> we'll give her that. <laughs> what is the name of Simba's father in The Lion King? Uh, um, uh, it was Mufasa. Uh, yes. Ooh. Where is where on the body can you find the funny bone? The funny bone is on your 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 elbow. Yes. Well done. How many vowels are there in the alphabet? Uh, a e o u. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Timabuse. <laughs> You've taken a sliming. <laughs> How are you feeling now? My, my mouth has been very slimy. I didn't get it in her mouth. Got it in her mouth. Then lift up. I, I can reveal you got five Whoa! answers correct. Actually, it's actually quite a good score. The question is slime. But I know what you're thinking. Oh, I wish I had more points. And don't you worry, OT, because no. we're going to give you one final opportunity to add all important points to that total with the ultimate question. Oh yes, get the ultimate question correct and we will add 20 points to your solid five, putting you right at the top of our leaderboard. Yes, right up there. But get it incorrect, OT, and you'll be covered in the super slime. What is a super slime, I hear you ask, OT? What is the super slime? What is the super slime? Well, it looks like this. Good about life. I feel invigorated. I feel alive. Yes, yes lots of freshly mixed buckets of unfresh slime, Bruce. Yes, doesn't make sense. All right, can I have some tension music, please? Dim the lights, because OT, it is time for your ultimate question. Here goes. What is the length of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco in centimeters? Oh, <laughs> is it? Take your time. Take your time. Seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred and fifty. Seven. I don't know. Seven hundred and fifty. Okay. All right. I read there. I don't.
something. Around That's an answer. Around where? Seven hundred thousand. Around there. Two. Two. Centimeters. Yes. I don't right, think we're getting any closer, answer. Bruce. That is a great answer. No, I no, can no. reveal. Your eyes. Your eyes say it. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favour, Oti. How about you look up? No, 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 no! <laughs> the answer is 273,700 centimetres! I am in the same Oh my god! Oh, We're finished with the buckets, are we? We're finished with the buckets. Oti, how are you feeling now? <laughs> I'm feeling very wet. She's feeling very wet. <laughs> and I should have color. known that answer. You should have known. And we all know how long the Golden Gate Bridge is. Let's find out what's coming up in next week's show. <laughs> Our lovely guest today, Otis Moussi. Ricky Martin. Oh. And Marcus and Martinez. Oh, nice. A big thank you to Zara Larson in the Tension Seekers as well. Otis, how are you feeling? No. <laughs> Eleven o'clock. Cannot wait. Now, all morning, you guys at home have been voting for which of the pets factor vets are gonna face the slime. And guys, we're about to find out who it is. Oh yes, we are. Now, my team over here. Can we can we read this out together? Is that all right? Okay. Don't <laughs> peek, Harvey. I see. All right. Here we go. With. Take a seat over there. Oh, the seat matches your scrubs. Lovely stuff. It was like it was meant to be. Get yourself comfortable. It'll be the last time you feel that this morning because, guys, it is time for Question Slime. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ooh, welcome to Question Slime. I'm David Dimbleby. And I'm David Dimble C. Good to see you, David. Good to see you too, David. Great to see you every week. Now, Kat, you are. You've been voted by the, the general hey. public to face a voting on Question Slime. A sliming, even. The voting's already <laughs> happened. Just how much slime ends up upon you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right, David? Oh, it is, David. For every question you get correct, you will score one point. For every question you get incorrect, your lovely, luscious hair will be absolutely coated in slime. Look at it there. Ooh. Golden and lovely. <laughs> Not for long! No. Not for long, David! OK, are the rules clear to you, Kat? Yes. All oh, right, David, please get into position. My pleasure, David. Thank you. Can I have 90 seconds <laughs> on the clock, please? You can, David. <laughs> OK. Let's do it. Kat, are you ready? I'm ready. Here it starts your question, Slime. What's the world's <gasps> largest ocean? Pacific. Correct. Oh. What is the chemical symbol for potassium? K. Correct. Oh. <laughs> How many players are there in a cricket team? 15. 11. Slime! <laughs> <laughs> what land mammal has the longest tail in the world? The lion. You should know this giraffe! Slime her! <laughs> Tell me surprise. Mildred Hubble oh. is the lead character in which series? Okay. Mumbai and Chennai are major cities in which country? India. Okay. Oh Who my. is the lead singer of the Vamps? <laughs> Gary Barlow. No! Bradley Simpson! <laughs> what is the name of the longest bone in the human body? The femur. Yes! Woo. She's too good at this. <laughs> in which city would you find the White House? Washington. Oh. How many plays did David. Shakespeare write? 37 <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> Her um, acrophobia is the fear of what? Spiders. Who oh, heights? Which <laughs> Slimer! Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot! I almost <laughs> forgot! Which planet is the largest in the solar system? Jupiter. Mm. How many countries border China? 12. 14 Slimer, <laughs> David! <laughs> what is six times seven? 42! Who wrote The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? C.S. Lewis. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. David, absolute scenes in the studio cut. I can't tell you how many you've got. It could have been worse. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Eight. 
eight. You got eight, eight questions. questions correct, which I'm pretty sure is at the top of the leaderboard. But yeah. is there a leaderboard? There's a leaderboard. Yes. Don't you worry. But because we're good like that, we're going to give you one final time to add to the yeah. all important points total with the ultimate question. Yes, that is correct. Get the ultimate question correct. Correct, correct. Correct, And David. we will add 20 points to your very impressive eight, may I add. Putting you right at the top of the leaderboard with a big, big score of 28. If you can count. All right, so get it wrong, you'll be absolutely coated, covered in the super slime. What is the super slime I hear you ask? What that? is the oh, super slime, slime, David? Oh, slime. Let's have a look at this. Start the series, oh, David. Scared. Okay, can I have some tension music, please? Because, Kat, it is time for your ultimate question. How many stations are there on the... Thank you, David. How many stations are there on the London Underground Network? 200. Oh. David! Well, well, well. Incorrect! It's 217! <laughs> 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 oh, there's no need to look at all that! Round of applause for Kat. Kat, how are you feeling? You faced the super slime. And I feel like I... I feel like I did okay. I feel like I won. I think she did okay. I think she did top of the leaderboard. Very well done. But let's find out what's coming up next week. The Pets Back to Vents. Still very slimy back here. And of course, Harley. Guys, did you enjoy yourselves this morning? Loved it. Amazing. Fantastic. Really, really good. I, yeah, it's a lot. Like, no, we'll be back same time next week, 9 a.m. on CBBC. Stay tuned for Max and Harvey coming up next. Yeah. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Before She-Ra, 58% of you voted for Jenny to be covered in goo. Now it's the moment of reckoning. It's Question Slime. Jenny, you have lost the public vote, which means you will be getting slimed. Oh, yes, indeed. But how much slime you get covered in, Jenny, from the chase depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Yes, and for every question that you do get right, you get one point. Oh, that's nice. But for every question you answer incorrectly, you get a big old bucket of slime lobbed in your face. <laughs> 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 We're doing that every time, Joe. Right, Jenny, do you understand the rules? I understand. You do. Okay, Joe, please take your position. Can we also have 90 seconds on the clock, please? Jenny, these are your extra hard it's questions. Heavy. They're quite heavy as well, actually. Right, okay. <laughs> your question slime begins now. <gasps> the San Siro Stadium is in which European city? Rome. It's Milan. Slime! Oh. What's oh. the name of Hiccup's dragon in the cartoon Dragon's Race to the Edge? Um, toothless. Oh, she's right, she's Whoa. right. Big fan. What was the name of the royal physician who cared for Prince Henry after the Battle of Shrewsbury? <laughs> um, I don't know. John Bradmore. Slime! Oh. <laughs> Vehicles from which country use the international registration letters RI? Um, Romania. Indonesia. Oh. <laughs> Who plays Miss Hardbroom in the current CBBC adaptation of The Worst Witch? I don't know. Raquel Cassidy. Oh. Oh. What is that. the square root of 729? I'm not Mark the Bear. I don't know. <laughs> 27. Slime. Oh. As of July this year, how many years has the character Gail McIntyre on Coronation Street? Um, 27. 46. Ooh. Yes. Slime. Oh. What is the highest mountain in the Alps? Mont Blanc. Yes, yes, she's correct. Ooh, Which American city was once called New Amsterdam? 
New York. Correct. <laughs> what is the capacity of the Centre Court at Wimbledon? <laughs> Um, 16,000. Oh, you're so close, it's 15,000! Oh! What is the name of the current Blue Peter dog? Um, Patch. <gasps> Henry Slimer! Oh, that's <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> you got free, Jenny, feeling good? I'm feeling marvellous. Sorry, there we go. So you got free. Would you like to add some more points to that score? Yeah, why not? You potentially can with the ultimate question. <laughs> it's making it worse. <laughs> yes, now, Jenny, if you get the ultimate question right, we will add a whopping 20 points to your score, Whoa. which means you'll be right at the top of the leaderboard. Whoa. But if you get it wrong, mm -hmm. you will get the super slime. What is the super slime, I hear you ask? What is the super slime? What is it? Please tell me. Would you like to know, Jeff? It something? looks a little bit like this. Oh? I feel really good about life. Mm. Oh, yes. Tension music, please. <laughs> it's time for the ultimate question on there. I have it in my hand. Jenny, your ultimate question is... What was the first word said on the first episode of the current series of Saturday Mashup? Hello. You all right? Well, you know what? Everybody right. seems to think it's hello, but it wasn't. It was join Super Slimer! <laughs> Bradley Walsh is thinking now. Um, I'm sure he's very envious of my position right oh, now. Amazing. Wait, well, you look amazing, you feel amazing. Uh, you might be here another time, but let's see what's coming up next week on my show. Oh, Jenny, give a round of applause, everyone. Jenny, that was, that was amazing. Well done. Now, there's lots of... Have you enjoyed today's show, Lydia? So. Are you glad it wasn't you in there? Very much so. Thank you very much to all our guests. New Hope Club, everyone. The Worst Rich Cast and Jenny Ryan. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. You all right? I feel like a million dollars. Ah, lovely stuff. Brilliant. <laughs> FOMO is next with Max and Harvey. Catch us same time, same place next week, all right? 9am. See you then. Shabbat! Before she asked, 68% of you voted for Anna to be covered in goo. Now it's the moment of reckoning. It's Question Slime! Yes, welcome to Question Slime. Now, Anna, you have lost the public vote, which means you will be getting slime. Yes, but how much slime you get covered in, Anna Maynard, depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Yes, mm. and for every question that you do get right, you get one point. It's nice, isn't it? For every question you get wrong, Anna Maynard, I will chuck a big old bucket of slime right at you. Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Right, okay. Anna, do you understand the rules? I do understand. Good, good, good. In that case, Joe, uh, what walk are you going with? Oh, I'll do it in the style, the style of a vlogger. Go on then. Welcome Off back to the channel. Thank <laughs> you very much. Can we also have 90 seconds on the clock, please? Anna, <laughs> your question slime begins. Okay. Now, what <gasps> is the main ingredient of a baba galoosh? Um, I don't know. You're taking too long, it's aubergine slime <laughs> 2022 Commonwealth Games will be held in which British city? Uh, Take London. Too long again. It's Birmingham Slime <laughs> Who is the host of TV quiz show Pointless? Uh, I don't know, but he's bald and I don't know his name. Alexander Armstrong Slime <laughs> What is. Ooh, Sorry, Hans. What is nine tenths of 1,000? Huh? What is nine tenths of 1,000? I failed math three times, I don't know. 900 Slime <laughs> Established in 1862, which was the world's first national park? Uh, Central Park? <laughs> Yellowstone Slime Park! <laughs> what, what is Simba's dad called in The Lion King? Uh, Mufasa? Correct! Oh, I'll have a break! One in the bag. Who won the Wimbledon Gentlemen's Singles Tennis title in 2019? Um, 
I think we've got a Slimer because it was Novak Djokovic. No, no, no. You're splashing it everywhere. A baby it. elephant is known as what? Pardon? A baby elephant is known as what? Uh, a, a baby elephant? <gasps> it's not. It's a car. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, sorry, oh, it's everywhere, isn't everywhere. it? Everywhere. Anna Mena, that was a good slime in that, whoever was throwing it, I don't know. This could be a good look for Got What It Takes. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Now, I can tell you, you've got one point, <laughs> right? <laughs> one question equals one point. Now, um, of course, hang in there, because you could, add, you could add more points to your score. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's time for the ultimate question. Woo! Okay, now I think you could benefit from these extra points, <laughs> Anna. If you get the ultimate question right, we will add a whopping 20 points to oh, your score. Oh, yes, we like that. Mm. Which means you will be right at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, lovely. But if you get it wrong, you will get the super slime. Okay. What is the super slime, I hear you ask? What is the super slime? What is it? You want to know? Yes. Looks like this. Oh. like a million dollars. Oh, yes! Tension music, please! For it's time for your ultimate question. <laughs> Anna. Yes. Your ultimate question. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. That wasn't a question, by the way. Don't get too excited. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay. joking. The actual ultimate question is... Okay. What was the name of the song that came 10th in the 10th ever edition of the Eurovision Song Contest in 1965. Anna? Um, is it called Anna's About to Get Slimed? Because that's, that should be a that's song. Pretty what similar. song was that? Joe, I've never heard that song again. No, I haven't either. Might be right though, let's have a look. <laughs> is that your final answer? Yeah. Was... Are you locking it in? Yeah, I'm locking it in. Okay. Well, the actual answer is absent friend, which means, Joe, we have to... Super Slime! <laughs> To stand, I might get a little bit on me. You've got a little bit on you. <laughs> I actually can't hear anything you're saying. Okay, um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah. How do good. I look out of ten? Looks good. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, like, it's all right. This could be a good thing for the final. Actually, couldn't it have got what it takes? Yeah. yeah. A good little catwalk. Well, Anna Mena, you've done brilliant. Let's find out as you can clear your ears. What's coming up next week on Mashup? <laughs> Guess. All right, you're saying, no, I'm all right. Thank you, Anna Mira. So, Hannah, Lee and Luke, thank you all, our <laughs> lovely guests. Brilliant stuff. I've loved this one, Hans. I mean, Anna, you look great. Are you all right? Yeah, I She's know. good, she's good. Good, good, good. All right, well, stay tuned because something very special is happening straight after us. Ooh. We'll be back with you next week at nine. See ya. Earlier on Saturday mashup, 59% of you voted for Katie to be covered in goo. It's the moment of reckoning. It's question slam. Welcome to question slam. Now, Katie, you have lost the public vote, which means you will be getting covered in slime. But Katie, off the sudden. Depending on how many questions you answer correctly, depends on how much slime you get covered in. Yes, but for every answer that you do get correct, you get one point. But every question you answer incorrectly, we will chuck a big old bucket of slime in your face. Do I feel like coughing? Katie. Move on. Do you understand the rules? Yes, I'm so bad at general knowledge as well. Yes! Oh. I mean, oh. Even better. Oh. Even better. Right, Joe, please, can you take your position? No, like I'm Thank a CBBC presenter. Come on then. I am one, so I'm just going to walk. And can we have 90 That's seconds on the clock, please? Right, Katie, your question slime Ooh. begins. Now, <clears throat> who is the author of the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? Lewis Carroll. Correct. How many months of the year have only 30 days? How many what months? How many months of the year have only 30 days? Who? Nope, four. Simon! Oh! Who was Britain's oh, Got Talent? Who won Britain's Got Talent in 2019? What? I don't know. I haven't watched that quiz. Simon! <laughs> Which symbol do you that? find on the Swiss flag? Which symbol? A star? It's a cross. Simon! 
Oh, How so many close. Infinity Stones are there in Avengers Infinity War? Six. Correct. Ooh. What colour is the Teletubby Dipsy? Dipsy is green. Correct. In what year like did me. the Titanic sink? 1914. 1912. Oh. Which country won the 2019 Eurovision Song Contest? 2019? Oh, I don't know. Iceland? Ni oh, no. <laughs> Netherlands. Do you know? <laughs> which, herb, which herb is pesto sauce most commonly made from? Um, basil. Correct. What is Taylor Swift's middle name? Oh, I'm such a Tay Tay fan, I don't even know this. <laughs> Elizabeth? You don't know it, it's Alison Slimer! Alison! How many millimetres are there in 80 centimetres? Um, uh, 800. Yep, correct. What is the capital of Australia? Uh, Canberra. Correct. In snooker, how many points are awarded for putting the yellow ball? Ten. Two. Slimer! <laughs> I've had my training. Is that okay? I don't, well, I mean, yeah, I mean look at the statement. How many points? How many points does Katie Fistleton have? Six, because you answered six questions correctly. Yeah. Yeah. That's some more points. That's not bad for me. More points? Depends. What do I have to do to get well, more points? Well, let's find out. All you have to do is the ultimate question. Oh, no. Yes. Now, if you get the ultimate question right, mm -hmm. Katie, uh -huh. we will add. Uh, we will add. We will add you right? a whopping twenty <laughs> points to your score. Yes. Which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. But if you get it wrong, you will get the super slime. What is the super slime? Are you asking? Uh, what is the super slime? Oh, uh, what is it? Please you tell us. Now. Just it please tell us. Tell us what is it? Like a million dollars. Attention, music, please. Thank you. It's time for your ultimate question, Katie Thistleton. Oh. Katie, here is your ultimate question. It was St. Patrick's Day on Tuesday. According to Guinness World Records, how many people attended the largest ever St. Patrick's Day celebration worldwide in 2012? A large gathering, Katie. A large gathering. We need an answer. Please, Katie. 500,000 people. Is that your final answer? Yeah. We're locking she, it in. She doesn't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, that's right. incorrect. The correct answer is 361,077, which means we need to super sign up! Careful of the hair. Oh. Anything to add? Um, I'm sending a bill from the hair extension. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, you never know. We might find it in the future. Perhaps next week on Saturday Night What's coming up? Hmm. Well, <laughs> and thank you very much, Katie Fizzleton. Hey, uh, Reese Stevenson, and of course, thank you, kids. Pop. Thank you very much for joining us live from Good. your homes. We've absolutely loved today. It's been amazing, hasn't it, Harvey? It's a hard job. <laughs> no, I don't want to give you one. <laughs> FOMO is up next yeah. with Max and Harvey. Stick with CBBC, all right? Because it's here for you every day. Katie! Um, next week, like I said, 9 a.m. Yes. Well, right we'll see you then. Right now, we enjoy Max and Harvey. Over to you, lads. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Because <laughs> 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 oh, you do. Oh, okay. Okay. With 48% right, of the vote, compliment, compliment, compliment. the pet factor <laughs> bet getting slimed is. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Uh, would you absolutely believe it? Would you Adam and Eve it? It's Cat! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you've got the mic because you're gonna need it. Come with me. Come with me to our slimy area. It's just over here. See, so you're familiar with this already. You've seen, you've seen more of this than you do your own living room these days. Welcome to Question Slime.
Welcome to Questions Live. I'm Fiona Bruce. And I'm Bruce Fiona. It's good to see you, Bruce. It's very good to see you, Bruce. The Fiona. Fiona. Well, it's, just, it's, just wonder, it's always wonderful to see you, Bruce. Okay, Kat, you've been chosen by the general public to taste the slime this morning. But how much slime ends upon you depends on how many questions you answer correctly. Isn't that right? That is correct, Fiona. Now, we are asking you questions, Kat. So, uh, <clears throat> we just check your mic, Kat, so I can hear you loud and clear. Brilliant. Brilliant. Given that stick mic, can't hear a thing. Okay. Yes! Can you hear me? Yes! Can you hear me now? Yes! Can you hear me now? Just because you're so far away, right, okay. I couldn't. I'll shout All right. <clears throat> All right. For every question you get correct, you will score one point. Yeah, you know how it goes, Cap. For every one you get incorrect, your face will be covered in slime. Understand yeah, the rules? I do. I mean, it'd be silly <laughs> if you wouldn't. This is your third time, isn't it? Second, second. Second, all right. Second, okay. Okay. okay, Fiona, get in position. Thank you, Bruce. I'm going to take the mic off you. I don't want to ruin it. Okay. She needs the mic. Oh, she needs it for the questions. Okay, we're just going to have to destroy this one, guys. Okay, 90 mic. seconds Poor right mic. here. Lovely. Okay. <sighs> Cat. Tell me. Your question time. Slime. Starts. Now, what is 17 times 9? 49? No. Incorrect. 150. Oh, my God! My God! Incorrect. Oh! 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 Not yet! Oh, That's for the me. ultimate sliming! Okay. Full how many days? How many days are in the month of December? 31. 31, correct. Who won the Netball World Cup last month? New Zealand. Yes, correct. New Zealand. What is 15 times 9? I just asked you that, didn't I? 141, no, 135. Slime oh, her! She's dodging oh. me! How many keys are there on a standard piano? 109, no, 88. Slime her! Oh, In which there. country is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Italy. Yes, correct, Italy. In total, how many presenters has Blue Peter had over its 60 years? 37! 38! <laughs> Lindsay Russell! Oh, Lindsay, this is unacceptable. Just know that Lindsay Russell got that wrong. Ooh. Who won the men's single competition at Wimbledon in 2019? Okay. Yes, Ooh. yes. Novak, I'll give you that. Name the three colours of the Union Jet flag. Red, blue and white. Yes, correct, red, blue and white. In what year is the summer, next Summer Olympics being held? 2020. Correct, 2020. Oh. What is five times five? Good. 25. Correct. Oh, go what is on, the shall I? building in the UK? Oh. The no. shard. Yes. The shard, not the <laughs> <laughs> In Harry, you can't go oh, deeper. Your time's up. Your time's up. Your time's oh, up. Your time you did well. Is, you, you did, did well. You did really well. Okay. Lovely. I need a stick mic now. If I can grab some microphone over here. Well, Cut. Well, You've well, taken it, mate. Well. You did very well. 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 Like getting away out of the slime, to be fair. No, How did you feel? I, yeah. No. I, I, I. Again. It was. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. fun. It's not but over I think, yet. I think we all know that it's not quite over, is it? Yeah. Well, I can reveal you got six points. That is six points to your final total. But we're going to give you one final glorious opportunity to add all important points to that total with the ultimate question. Yes, the ultimate question. How hot is it in here? Really, okay, really hot under right. this natural hair of mine. So. The, no fights, Cap, no, you keep no, the slams to yourself. You. Now, Cap, you get the ultimate question correct. You will score a whopping, yes, whopping 20 points added to your original six, putting you right at the top of the leaderboard. Well, it's a summer social, so we haven't got a leaderboard. No, the leaderboard is um, scrapped straight out. All right, get it incorrect. You know what this is, Cap. You're not new to this. You will face the super slime. I know what you're all thinking. What is the super slime? What is the super slime, Bruce? Looks like this. about life. Honestly, it's really cool. I feel invigorated. I feel alive. Yes! Yes! That gun's just been sitting there since January. Disgusting. Come in. Come in. Disgusting, yeah. Fiona. Woo. It's got a bit of an eggy whiff. All right. Eggy whiff. Kat, your fellow vets are standing by. Look at Cheryl there. Already picked the bucket up. She's already picked the bucket up. Very presumptuous, I might add. OK, so, Kat, are you ready for your ultimate question? Yeah. Tension music, please. My ear intention music. I am, I am ear intention music. Okay. <laughs> How many seconds are there in a J? 3,942. <laughs> no. <laughs> 86,400. 
Legends! It's a compliment. It's fine. Yeah, I, I, it was really good for my hair last time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> every, clown, every clown has a silver lining. Wow. Well, wow. to help you recover and to help close up the show, let's hear again from our favourite guests, Max and Harvey with Electric! Earlier on Saturday mashup, 55% of you voted for Shawnee to be covered in goo. Shawnee! <laughs> Now it's the moment of reckoning. Here's question slam. Lost the public vote, which means you will be getting slimed. Yes, Charlie, but how much slime you get covered in depends on how many questions you answer correctly. That's right, and for every question that you do get right, you get one point. That is so nice, Charlie. But for every question you answer incorrectly, I will chuck a bucket of slime in your face. Ah. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> do you understand the rules, Charlie? I think so. Very good. All right. Well, in that case, can we have 90 seconds on the clock, please? Because your question, Slime Shawnee, starts now. <gasps> Persian, Siamese and Sphinx are all breeds of which animal? Cat. Correct. What is the name of the first animated Disney feature film? Sleeping Beauty. Nope, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Slime <laughs> The rice dish paella comes from what country? Cheese. What? Spain. <laughs> Slime I didn't mean to cheese this year. <laughs> Jeez. What Italian artist painted the Mona Lisa? Uh, da, da Vinci. That's correct, <laughs> da Vinci. Which sisters have won the Wimbledon Ladies singles title 12 times I between them? No, Andy. No, it's the Williams sisters. <laughs> Simon! I wish the Andy sisters. The 2020 film The Witches is based on a book by which author? Simon. Roald Dahl. Simon! <laughs> Stephanie Germanotta is the real name of which American singer? Taylor Swift. Nope, it's Lady Gaga. Slime her! <laughs> what is 11 times 11? 160. It's 121. I had to look at that as well. Slime her! <laughs> Who is the Prince of Wales? Ah, uh, Prince William. Prince Charles. Slime her! <laughs> what is the world's tallest building? Paris. Nope. Eiffel Tower? Nope, nope, it's Burj Khalifa. Okay. Slime <laughs> Ant and Deck first worked together on which children's TV drama? I'm a celebrity. Biker Grog. It wasn't even up there. It wasn't even around there. Slime up! Oh. Time's up. Sean, oh. he's like a melody. You got two points. Yes, Woo! two questions yeah. correctly. Don't worry, don't worry, Sean. You can add more points with the ultimate question. Yes, Shawnee, if you get the ultimate question correct, we'll add... Yeah, yes! You will be feeling great, Shawnee. Right, can we have the tension music, please? Ah! It's time for your ultimate question! As it was Thanksgiving on Thursday in the USA, how heavy is the largest turkey ever recorded in grams? Okay. <laughs> Very heavy. Take your time, you know, take your time, it's easier. I know this one. Yeah, you do. It is 792. You're so confident, but I'm sorry you're wrong. It's 39,008.9 grams, which means we need to super slime her! How are you feeling? Are you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. A bit slimy. I've heard it's good for your hair. I'll Do let you that... want some? It's okay. Please stay there. Uh, I'll let that sink into your hair. It's nice. As we find out what's coming up next. Shawnee! Yeah. Shawnee, you've been absolute legend. Thank you. And thank you to the slime. <laughs> we will be back next week for more Saturday mashup at 9 a.m., won't we, Hearts? Bye, 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 we bye. will. Now remember, set your alarms next Saturday for 9 a.m. FOMO is next. Yes. Have a lovely weekend. We'll catch up with you then, won't well, we, Till then, farewell, stay safe and stay happy. Stay Bye. Happy. Bye. Bye. Slimey. Slimey. Ah, the end of another great show. Uh
Rebecca Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Jess has been voted to receive a right good sliming. For the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene. It's Sliman McCoy. <laughs> Thank you, Gu. Incredible scenes here. <laughs> now, Jess, our star here, has to answer a series of questions based on this week's news. If she gets a question correct, happy days, she earns a point. News just in, if she gets a question incorrect, she'll face a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. Thank you, Sliman. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Oh, Jess, it's highly likely ah! you're about to be slimed. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, nervous. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of it. Really is. It really is. not lying. Well, here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. OK. <gasps> Who on Wednesday was inaugurated as the new president of the United States of America? Joe Biden. Correct. <laughs> this week, a celebrity dressed as grandfather clock was voted off which TV programme? Um... The mask. It's not oh. quite right, Slimer! No, 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 no. <laughs> what embarrassing Stop. thing did Joe Wicks do during a live workout last week? Uh, fall down? No, worse, he trumped. Slimer! <laughs> okay, it's Saturday, but what day of the week was the 23rd of January last year? Uh, uh, Thursday. It's actually correct. Who <laughs> left his role? As England women's manager this week to coach American team in Inter Miami. Um, um, David Beckham. It's not quite right. It's Phil <laughs> Neville. <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> that was a big one. Who hosts the TV series Pooch Perfect? Um, um, Holly Arnold. No, it's Sharon <laughs> and Smith. Slimer! <laughs> Who Driver's license uh, uh, broke chart records earlier this week. You've got this. Oh, the girl from America. I can't <laughs> take the girl from America. <laughs> Slime! <laughs> On the 20th of January, which planet in our solar system was visible in the night sky? Ma Pluto. Nose Uranus. Slime! <laughs> Which men's football team is currently top of the Premier League? Um, not Arsenal. <gasps> co co kind of correct. Slimer, anyway. <laughs> that was a big one. And finally. <laughs> oh. That was out of order. Um, okay. It's okay. just the news. <laughs> Jess, I can tell you, you got two correct. <laughs> yeah. Which means two points. Are you all right? Uh, a bit cold. Yeah. Um, do you want to add more points to your score? You can do that. Um, does that mean I won't get slimed? It means you can get a higher score. Now, after the news <laughs> comes the weather. And we're expecting a highly torrential downpour. It looks a little something like this. I feel great. for the ultimate question. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Tension music, please. It's just got <laughs> tense. Thank you. It's very tense in here now. Jess, what is the current combined age of all 12 campmates from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, 2020? <laughs> Higher than 10. <laughs> uh, 317. <gasps> Jess, you know what? I got it wrong. <laughs> You did get it wrong. It's 506. <laughs> You're incorrect. Super Slimer! <laughs> Is it safe to enter? What was I going with you? Come on, man. One more. I need a touch to do it. Yes, are you all right? Are you okay? I can't see. <laughs> it's all right, as you try to see. Here's what's coming up <laughs> next week. <laughs> next week, right now, it's Max and Abby Fillmore. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Time now, though, to get serious. Tension music, please. Yes. Oh, yes, you weren't expecting to hear that. Well, yeah, Danny or Montana or anyone else in the room. All morning, <laughs> you've been voting for who you would love to see get slimed. Will it be Danny? Will it be Montana? News just in.
We've got the result. We'll have so it's just an envelope. Oh no! So I've got it. it. The results Here are in. Go. The golden envelope is in my hand. Right. I can reveal that with 67 percent of the vote, oh. the person being slimed this morning is Montana. Oh. Of slime ready and wait for you. Oh, Look, lovely. lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. There they are. <laughs> I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Montana has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. And for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Slime and McCoy. Incredible scenes here, Goo. Yes, I'm here with Montana, and she will ask, be asked a series of questions all about Tracy Beaker. Get a question correct, lovely stuff. She earns a point, and someone incorrect news just in. Bucket of slime will be chucked in her face. So don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Montana, it's very likely that you're about to be slimed this morning. How are you feeling? Yeah, um, I just want to say thank you to the 33% that had my back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Quick maths, quick maths. That's actually yeah. a very good comeback. Uh, right, Montana, <laughs> here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> what was Tracy's first... Who was Tracy's first kiss with? Sorry. Ben? Nope, it was Wilson Slime Hunt! <laughs> On what date did the final episode of The Story of Tracy Beaker originally air? I oh, don't know. It oh, was yes. the 9th of December 2005. Slime <laughs> In the episode Dares, what were Mike's gardening boots filled with? Slime. No, it was cheese sauce. Oh, slime <laughs> Tracy Beaker, who was the eldest resident of the dumping ground? I don't know. <laughs> Want to take a guess now? Um, Rochelle, um, Adele. It was Adele. Yeah! 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 Rochelle. What is Justine's cousin John allergic to? Oh. oh. Running out oh, of time. Was it dogs? Was it chocolate? No, it was not slime. Oh! Oh! Who else was chosen so as cold. child of the week along with Tracy for a newspaper article? I don't know. It was Louise Slimer! Oh, Louise! <laughs> Nathan Lull, Bouncer, Tracy, Adele and Justine formed a band, but what song did they sing? I don't know. Don't pink round Blue Slimer! <laughs> <laughs> what does Tracy say she would rather do than help Justine decorate her bedroom? Oh, stick something in her eyes! Skip naked through the centre of town. Slimer! <laughs> and, uh, finally... <laughs> Okie dokie. Just like Justine Littlewood. <clears throat> Montana, I can tell you've got one question correctly, meaning one point. <laughs> that is quick maths. Would you like to add more points to your score? No. No, you can, you really can. No. After the news comes the weather, over to you, Carol Kirkwood. <laughs> There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I feel fantastic! It's time for your ultimate question. <laughs> right, Montana, if you answer the ultimate <laughs> question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. OK. But if you answer it incorrectly, you'll be covered in more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, lovely. OK. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? Right, here's the ultimate question. Montana, yes. in seconds, how long was the film Tracy Beaker's movie of me? Easy peasy. Come on, you got this. It's only seconds. 6,870. All right. Well, the answer was 4,130. Ah! However, yes. before we super slime you, Danny, would you like to do the first question? Yes. Ah! Oh, go on, then. Come on, Beaker. Here we go. Oh. 
I'm so sorry. It's okay. Just Let's go. Go. Now it's really settling in the head. I feel slimed. Yes, okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel, Danny, after that contribution? Oh, I feel wonderful. I've oh. waited 20 years for that. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Kia has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. And for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Slimer McCoy. <laughs> That's right, Goo Incredible Scenes down here, which is just next to you. Um, our star Kia here today will be asked a series of questions based on this week's news. If she answers a question correctly, brilliant, she earns a point. News just in, answer one incorrectly, she'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. <laughs> So don't go anywhere, we'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. Right, Kia, it's very likely that you're about to be covered in slime, but how are you feeling? Yeah. All right. <laughs> For yeah. now! Yeah. You're all right. For we'll now. see about that. <laughs> I'm Here's right. the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> it was announced this week that Harry Styles, Dua Lipa and Taylor Swift will be performing know. at which music awards? I'm not going to know what this is. I you have been guessing it's the Grammy Slimer! <laughs> which artist was said this week that we're planning to auction off a painting for the NHS? Didn't do the question. Banksy Slimer! <laughs> The new series of Top Gear starts tomorrow. Name any of the current hosts. <laughs> right, I don't know. <laughs> I've known. She doesn't know. Are you Paddy serious? I just <laughs> Which football team won the Scottish Premiership last Sunday? Guess. Louis Malvin at me, but I don't know what he's saying. That's absolutely wrong. Right. It's the Rangers Slimer! <laughs> Excluding today. How many Saturdays are left in 2021? Uh, Have a guess. 27. Nah, it's 41. Slimer! <laughs> Saturday night takeaway is on tonight, but who's older, Ant or Deck? Ant. Um, it's Deck. <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> what, what, what would your star sign be if your birthday was today? Leo, I don't know. It's Pisces. Slimer! <laughs> it would have been Albert Einstein's birthday tomorrow, but in what century was he born? Have a guess. 20. 19. Slimer! <laughs> James Newman announced the name of his Eurovision song entry on Thursday, but what is it? <laughs> don't look at me! Members! I Slimer! don't know! It's been at work! <laughs> Which singer was knocked out of <gasps> down? That's it. And finally. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Kate. You're the first person that's dodged the face on every single... <laughs> and I was trying my best. How do you feel? You know what? Pretty good. My makeup still looks all right. Yeah. And <laughs> you can hear everything I'm saying, which is a first. Well, I can tell you, you've got a big fat zero. You've got nothing right. So do you want to add some points to your score? If you want to give me some... I will think about it, because you need them. After the news comes the weather. Over to you, you national treasure, Carol a Kirkwood. <laughs> There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super Slimer! If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I feel fantastic! It's time for your ultimate question. <laughs> wow! So so the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Nice. But if you answer it incorrectly, you'll face more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Ha! That's a lot. So can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Kia. Excluding specials, how many episodes of The Dumping Ground have there been up until the end of the last series? That's the series. And 60... Oh, it's more than that by now. 172? 
<laughs> you were actually really close. To <laughs> I knew I was close. I knew I was close. 162. Oh, you did it before. Before we super slime you, yeah, I think we should ask our very own Louis Payne this morning to do the first bucket. <laughs> Go for it, Louis. <laughs> You feeling all right? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, head just going up next week on Saturday Mashup. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Angela has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Sliman McCoy. <laughs> That's right, yes, Angela here will be asked a series of questions based on this week's news. Answer question correct, brilliant, she earns a point. News just in, answer question incorrectly, she will face a bucket of slime in the face. Yes, so don't go anywhere, we'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Angela, it's very likely that you're about to be covered in slime, but how are you feeling? Mm. I have never been so nervous in my entire life. Yes! <laughs> yeah! That is the correct answer. <laughs> well, here's off. the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> Yesterday was Red Nose Day, but in which year was Comet Relief founded? Oh, um, 1990. Ooh, it's 1985. Slimer! <laughs> <laughs> Which red and black T-shirt wearing cartoon character turned 70 years old this week? <gasps> oh, um, ah, pass. Why are you taking too long? It's Dennis the Menace. Oh! <laughs> St. Patrick's Day was celebrated on which day this week? Sunday. Nope, it was Wednesday. <gasps> <Slimer! laughs> this week, the Royal Mint has released a series of Mr. Men and Little Miss coins to celebrate their birthday. But how old are they? 100 years. Nope, 50. Oh! Slimer! <laughs> Today is the first day of spring, but on what day is the first day of summer? 1st of June. 21st of June. Ah! <laughs> Keisha White is about to release her track someday. It's the theme song for which popular CBBC show? Oh, pass. Tracy Beaker, Slimer! Yeah! Tracy Beaker! <laughs> which major Chinese city has been hit by a huge sandstorm this week, causing the sky to turn orange? Shanghai. Beijing. Slimer! Yeah! Which singer this week broke records with a photo of her new hair colour posted online? <gasps> Billie Eilish. Correct! Yeah! 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 Which well done, 2009 film has once again become the highest grossing film of all time? Pass. Avatar. <laughs> Slime! <Slimer! laughs> <laughs> Which country will... Ooh, time is up. <laughs> and uh, finally... <laughs> <laughs> Couple of misses there. Oh my now goodness. then, how are you feeling? You all right? A little wet. It's a bit icy. Like that's a nice one. I can tell you, you got one. That's one point. <laughs> do not worry, Angela, because you can add more points. Would you like to do that? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Same with confidence. Well, after the news comes the weather. Over to you, you national treasure legend, Carol Kirkwood. <laughs> There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I feel fantastic! It's time for your ultimate question. Oh, Angela, are you all right there? Surviving. Surviving. <laughs> Just a little bit longer. Now, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll get 20 points, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. That's what we want! However, if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, can I have some tension music, please? It's time for your ultimate question, Angela. Here goes. You won Dancing on Ice on Sunday. The first ever series began broadcasting on 14th January 2006. How many days ago was that? <laughs> Oh, 
thousand million, I have no idea. Give me the flame. Five thousand million, right. <laughs> the answer is actually 5,544. Oh. Which means you are about to be super slimed, but before that, Sonny J, would you like to do the first bucket? Oh, oh. You know, we're gonna Are you all right today, Angela? I'm not sure. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. You voted for Diane to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. I'm Fiona Sluice. Diane here will be asked a series of questions based on this week's news. If she gets a question correct, fan Dabby Dursey, she gets a point, but news just in. Get a question incorrect, Diane Boswell, you'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in your face. Don't go anywhere, we'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> It's very likely that you're about to be covered in slime this morning. How are you feeling? I'm ready for it. Ooh! OK. You're ready I'm for ready it. ready for it. Good. Well, here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. OK. <gasps> Who were the first UK football team to pull out of the controversial Super League? Um, you know, United Kingdom. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> You're right, you can do that. Well, let's find out because after the news <laughs> comes the weather. Over to you, Carol a Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super slime! If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh yes! I feel fantastic. It's time for your ultimate question. So, Diane, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> but if you answer it incorrectly, you'll be facing more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Mm -hmm. All right. OK, can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Diane. Across all 18 main series of Strictly Come Dancing, how many celebrity dancers have been have there been? You've been in Oh my gosh. Okay, so 12 times how many years did you say? 
Um, 18 main series. Ooh. How many celebrity like 87. Ooh, the answer is 249, <laughs> which means we are about to super slime you, but I think we should get Johannes to do the first bucket. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards and here are this morning's top stories. You voted for Chelsea to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. I'm Fiona Slews. Incredible scenes here, Gu. Yes, Chelsea will be asked a series of questions if she gets a question correct. Brilliant, she earns a point. News just in. Get a question incorrect, she'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> So, Chelsea, it's very likely that you're about to be covered in slime this morning. How are you feeling? Slimy already. Ooh, you're feeling slimy already? <laughs> OK, then. Well, here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> International Dance Day was celebrated on which day this week? Wednesday. It was Thursday, <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> of Kanye West clothing sold for over £1.3 million pounds this week. A pair of shoes. Yeah, I'll give you that. It was trainers. Yes! Wow. Who has been named as the celebrity guest star appearing on I Can See Your Voice Tonight? Oh, Lady Gaga. It's Fleury Slimer! <laughs> Which team did Manchester City beat in the Champions League semi-final on Wednesday? PSG. Correct. <laughs> Ronan Keating and Jermaine Genus have just been announced as new hosts as which TV programme? Oh, I don't know. Do you want to give it Go a guess? Go on, hit It's the one no. show. Slimer! <laughs> <laughs> Which judge of The Voice released an album this week called Surrounded by Time? Cotton what? Which judge of The Voice released an album this week called Surrounded by Time? Um, Tom Jones. Correct. The Royal Mint has made its biggest ever coin. How many hours did it take to create? Ten days. Nope, 400, Slimer! <laughs> on Monday night. Oh, uh, pink. Correct. Come on. <laughs> Which country won the Rugby Union's Women's Six Nations for third year in a row? Oh, God, I don't know. Rugby, I watch football. Um, <laughs> Scotland. It takes too long. It's England. Slimer! <laughs> <laughs> Student Jonathan Gibson this week became the youngest person ever to win which TV show? Um, who wants to be a millionaire? It was Mastermind Slimer! Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> keep missing, but some of it hit you, so that's beautiful. Now, you've got a lot of points. You actually got four questions, Minnie, four points! Hey, are you, feel, are you feeling more slimy now, Chelsea? Than... Yeah, it's actually good for the hair. No, I told you, no, it's good condition. <laughs> work it in, work it in. Now, after the news comes the weather. Over to you, Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. Yes. Yeah. Chelsea, I have to say, I'm very impressed. I think you're at the top of the leaderboard at the moment. Well, at least I can take that away with me. You can, Answer. you can. <laughs> now, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Definitely. Mm. But if you answer it incorrectly, <laughs> you'll see more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. So, can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Chelsea. <laughs> The 93rd Academy Awards were hosted on Sunday night. But in total, how long was the ceremony? Wait for it, in seconds. <laughs> uh, 
Um, You're good at maths. <laughs> Ooh, not that far off. 11,940 is the answer. Bring it on! But before we super slime you, I think we should get today's guests involved. Yeah. Allegra <laughs> and James, off you come! Go on, Allegra. Go, 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 go. Go for it, go for it. Go on. Let's do it. Yeah. Off you come, James, are you going? Let's go! Great with your hair. Yeah. Amazing. Great. <laughs> Amazing stuff. I believe the tone. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Annabelle has been randomly selected to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. That's right, yes, Annabel here will be asked a series of questions. Get a question correctly, hooly dooly, she will get a point. However, news just in, answer a question incorrectly, she'll get a bucket of slime chucked in her face. Don't go anywhere, we'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> likely that you're about to be slimed this morning. How are you feeling? I'm all right. Yeah. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. Well, here's your... <laughs> your 90-second interrogation starts. <laughs> now! <gasps> In Scotland, there is a bank holiday to mark the birthday of their patron saint. Who is he? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think that means slime her! <laughs> to celebrate an extra bank holiday for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. But for how many years will she have been Queen? Like, like maybe, like, uh, eight? Ooh, you're close. 70 years. Slime <laughs> Most bank holidays fall on which day of the week? Sorry, what? Most bank holidays fall on which day of the Monday. week? Monday. Correct. Yay! We celebrate a bank holiday on the 26th of December. What is this day more commonly Boxing called? Boxing Day. Correct. Yay! Which month is the summer bank holiday? Uh, I've, I've, I have no idea what, what. You want to guess which month? Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I can't even think. A month. A month. Yes. September. It's what? August. Mm -hmm. Slime. <laughs> Today is the third of May. How many days is it until the next bank holiday? Right now, like, like, like ten. Oh, it's oh. twenty-eight days. Slime. <laughs> Official. Nineteen ninety. I don't know what the fuck. Eighteen seventy-one. Slimer. This year, how many months have no bank holidays in them? Six. Ooh, it's seven. Slimer. Before today, what was the? Ooh, time's up. Sorry, don't need that. Was getting away. Carried away. Uh, and finally. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah, right then, Annabelle Davis. Did I get you? That I couldn't see for some obvious reasons. <laughs> what? You feeling OK? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Well, I can tell you, Annabelle Davis, that you got... You got two! Yeah. Oh, no, there you are, OK. Do you want to add more points to your score? No. You can't. <laughs> you really do in that summer month of September because after the news on a bank holiday comes the weather. Over to you, my friend, Camel Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super slime! If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh yes! I feel fantastic. It's time for your ultimate question. the ultimate question correctly. We'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. But if you answer it incorrectly, you'll face more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. 
<laughs> so please, can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Annabelle. The next time the May bank holiday falls on Monday the 3rd of May is in 2027. How many days away is that? No. Um, no. Um, like, 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 like 10,603. OK, well, the correct answer is 2,192, oh, which means we need to do this <laughs> You must feel really covered now, yeah? Oh, very thoroughly. Yeah. You look brilliant. You look the dumpy ground, maybe. Thank you. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Amanda has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming this morning. So for the latest, let's head over to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. I'm Fiona Sluz. Amanda will be asked a series of questions. If she gets one correct, brilliant, she earns a point. News just in. If she answers one incorrectly, she'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Amanda, it is very likely that you're about to get slimed in just a minute. How are you feeling? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I hope that you're going to be better than the last time mm. you were on a TV quiz when uh, <laughs> this happened. The 2019 book entitled No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference is a collection of speeches made by a Swedish climate change activist. What's her name? <laughs> Sharon. Greta <laughs> Thunberg. Sharon? It's so good. Sharon! Yeah. Sharon. <laughs> Sharon! That was a great answer. We want more of that right now. We love it. We love right. it. Oh, Here's no. the headline. Your 90-second interrogation <laughs> starts... Got this, Amanda. Now! <gasps> Ed Sheeran has announced he's going to be a shirt sponsor for which football club? Oh, my goodness. West Ham. Ipswich. Slime oh. oh. The Royal Mail unveiled which famous Liverpool singer's face on a set of stamps this week? John Lennon. Paul McCartney. Oh. Slime oh. On Sunday, which band headlines the UK's first post-lockdown gig? Oh, no. Awesome. Oh, okay. Slime Oh, goodness. Oh. Which football team is the first ever to have both the men's and women's team in the Champions League final in the same year? Just give it a guess. Chelsea. Oh, it's right! Yes. Yes. How old well did Archie Mountbatten Windsor, the son of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, turn this week? One. Two! Oh. Which music awards are set to take place in London on Tuesday? Um, um. <laughs> Takes too long. Slammer, it's the Brit Awards! <laughs> on Thursday, a new study revealed that which planet in the solar system has a fuzzy core? Oh. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Which member of Little Mix announced this week that she's expecting a baby? Mm. Oh, uh, uh, You got this. <laughs> oh, I can't remember her name. Leanne Slava! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 black and red handprints have been discovered on the walls of a cave in which country this week? Spain. Mexico, Slava! Oh. 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 Time is up, and finally. <laughs> oh. They were heavy today. Yeah, it's cold. Amanda, <laughs> how are you feeling? Are you all right? Oh, this is um, <laughs> tough, isn't it? Again, no words again. Um, <laughs> yeah, this bit going in my eyes yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, it, it does happen. But I can tell you, though, you got two points, two questions. Yay! Now, two's all right, but it could be better. Do you want to add more points to your score? Always. Yeah. <laughs> oh, first time I've had such a confident answer. That got me by surprise. Well, after the news, come no, yes, after the news comes the weather. That's the order. Over to you. You Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. If you answer this next question wrong, 
you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. So, Amanda, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, we will add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Yay! But if you get it wrong, you'll be facing more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Right, so can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Amanda. Casualty is filmed in Cardiff, but how far is the Casualty studio from the Saturday Mashup studio in miles? 187.3. Ooh, you're very close. Not bad. The answer is 144, which means you're wrong. And we are going to super slime you, yeah? but I think the first bucket should be done by George. Yeah. 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 Careful, George. Yeah. Off you go. Casualty. Oh, this is. Uh, <laughs> um, that's all right. You, sorry, you collect your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out what's coming up next week on Saturday Mashup. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Layla has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming this morning. So, for the latest, let's head over to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fiona Sluice. Layla here will be asked a series of questions. Get one correct, and that's a point for you. If you get one incorrect, then bad news for you, Layla. You'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in and around your face. So don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Okay, so Layla, you are about to receive a right good slime in. How are you feeling? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. As I will say as that. Good stuff. Well, here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts. <laughs> <laughs> now, <gasps> which singer became the first female to win the Global Icon Award at this week's Brit Awards? Dua Lipa. Taylor Swift. Slimer! <laughs> which football team were crowned Men's Premier League champions this week? I have no idea. It was Man City. Slimer! <laughs> Which US talk show host announced this week that she was ending her show? Ellen DeGeneres. Correct. A piece of artwork designed by David Hockney for the London Underground was unveiled this week. But with her? Piccadilly. Correct. It has been reported that this year May is the best month to spot which planet? To spot which planet? Pluto's not a planet anymore. No, that's wrong. It's Mercury. Slimer! Lewis Hamilton won the Grand Prix in which country last weekend? I have a guess. Jerusalem. No, it was Spain. Slimer! <laughs> BBC Broadcasting House, where Radio 1 Extra is broadcast from, opened on this day in which year? No. Day? Yeah? Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Yeah! 1932! <laughs> Slimer! Oh. What star sign would you be if your birthday was today? Ah, oh, Libra. Taurus. Slimer! Oh. <laughs> Janet Claw won a silver medal this week for which sport? Who? Jack Law. I hope I said that right. Running. It's actually diving. Slime on! Oh! A recent study has discovered new information about the history of our guts by studying what? What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hugh <laughs> Edwards. Ah. And uh, finally. Ah. Stuff, Layla. Right then, don't blame me. Blame your brain for getting them wrong, am I right? Now, I can tell you, Layla, that you did get. Two questions right, two points! Really? It's all right. Do you want to add more points to it? Yeah, go on. You can do so because after the news comes the weather. Over to you, oh, Hammer no. Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super slime! If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. It's time for your ultimate question. So, Layla, if you answer...
answered the <laughs> ultimate question correctly. You'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Ooh, yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll face more slime than you've ever seen in your entire yeah, life. Yeah. Uh, right, okay. Tension music, please. Here is your ultimate question. In the first episode of Don't Blame Me, Blame My Brain, you ask, what would happen to your brain if you never slept? But what is the record for staying awake the longest in minutes? Uh, Got this. 4,762. That was a quick working out. Are you sure? Yeah. You, your final answer. Yeah. Yes. All right. Ooh, Edward, it is. Well, actually, the final, uh, I'm sorry, the final, the actual answer is 15,865 minutes, which means we need Super Sonia! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Do you want to know a quick brain question? How many litres of slime it was? No. I don't know either, but it was a lot, it was a lot. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Hello there, I'm Fiona Sluice, and here are this morning's top stories. Cat here has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. In just a moment, she will be asked a series of questions. If she answers one correct, brilliant, she gets a point. However, news, Justin! If she answers one incorrectly, she'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. Don't go anywhere. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Okie dokie, welcome back. Now, Kat, first of all, how are you feeling? Is this your third time getting slimed? This is my third time getting slimed. I feel like I'm an expert now. Well, I don't need to give you any advice apart from watch the eyes, the ears and the mouth. Here we go. This is your headlines. <laughs> Time starts now. <laughs> NASA has announced it is sending two new missions to which planet before 2030? Mars. It's incorrect. It's Venus. Oh. Slime her, <laughs> come on, Reese. Oh, we're starting off easy, don't worry, She'll get better. Uh, which tennis player dropped out of the French Open this week? Oh, Natalie something. No, it was Naomi Osaka. Oh. Slime her, oh. Reese. Oh. That's it, he's getting <laughs> angry <laughs> now. Uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson got married last Saturday, but what's the name of his new wife? Carrie. Carrie Simmons. He's correct, yeah. Oh, well yeah. done, one thanks, point. Thanks. It was announced this week uh, that which long-running BBC drama will come to an end Holy in 2020? City. It is correct! Oh. Oh. You like your beams. Uh, World Bicycle Day was celebrated this week, but on which day? Tuesday. It's incorrect, it's Thursday. Slam oh. Yes! Oh. Uh, the men's England Euro squad has been announced this week, but who is the manager? Southgate, Gareth. Gareth, yeah, yeah, there, yeah, Gareth. Uh, Indiana awesome. Jones 5 starts filming in the UK next week, but which famous actor plays the title character? Who's Indiana? Come on, Kat. Hesitation is hard! No! <laughs> Slime him anyway, yeah. 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 I'm in charge. Uh, tomorrow, hundreds of which creature are heading into space as part of research? Baby project. squid! It's worms! No. Slime I love worms! Uh, it's National Sausage Roll Day today, but which YouTube star had a Christmas number one with I Love Sausage Rolls? Who sung it? Noella. It's Lad Baby! Noella <laughs> hasn't sung about sausage rolls. It's Mark Wahlberg's birthday today, but how old has he turned? 49? No, he's 50. <laughs> Slime and finally, chuck another one in me. Go on, chuck another one. Go. Here comes some more news, Kat. Watch out. Oh. Now, Kat, I can tell you, you got this many points. Watch out, Reese. Four! Oh. Oh. Now, how are you feeling? Are you all right before? No, I think that's rubbish. Well, do you know what? I'm yeah. very disappointed in myself. You should be. Should we have more should. points to your score? Yeah. Yeah, well, after on, the then. news comes the weather. For the latest, it's Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super Slime! If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. Thank you, Kaza. Now, Kat, this is your ultimate question. If you answer it correctly, you will add a whopping 20 points, everyone, yeah. bringing you right to the top of the leaderboard, which you're already quite high up. But if you get it incorrect, Kat, you will get covered in more slime than you've ever seen in your entire cat life. 
I Can I have angry. some tension music, mm. please? Oh, yeah. Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I mean, as good as can be expected. Well, your, it's all right, it's related to uh, animals. Now, <laughs> we know your love for dogs, OK? Yeah. And so does the Queen. Hello. That was the Queen. Uh, she currently has two doggies. But what are their names? It's like a corgi and a something mixed out of doggy. Fergie and Diana. Fergie and the... Well, that <laughs> is incorrect. I can tell you, the correct answers are... Mick and Candy! No way near! Oh, which means no we need to super slime her! Yeah. To the match the rule, there we go. Now, Kat, how are you feeling now, Kat? You all right? I'm feeling slimy. Yeah, it would just say it's one of your best slimings you have to date. But yeah, it's going to go in the top three. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Lou Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Karma has been voted by the public to receive a proper dumping of slime. So for the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. <laughs> That's right, I'm Fiona Sluice. Karma here will be asked a series of questions. Get one right, lovely jubbly, get a point, Karma, but get one wrong. You will receive a bucket of slime lobbed in and around your face. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, we'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> Karma, it's very likely that you're about to be slimed. How are you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling good considering. Yeah, yeah. 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 At the yeah. moment. Yeah, at the are. moment. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the headline. Your 90 second interrogation starts now. <gasps> On what day this week did the UK experience a solar eclipse? Tuesday. Thursday. Slime oh! <laughs> England play their first match in the Euros tomorrow night, but who will they be playing against? Uh, Germany. Croatia. Slime oh! <laughs> Stacey Solomon announced she's pregnant this week, but which ex EastEnders star is her partner? Um, Dave. Nah, it's Joe Swash. Slimer! Get out of the pub! Prince Harry and Meghan Michael announced the birth of their new baby girl this week. What is her middle name? Charlotte. It's Diana. Slimer! Oh. Sky Brown qualified for the GB team for this summer's Tokyo Olympics, but in which sport is she competing in? Um, uh, cycling? No, it's skateboarding. Oh. Slimer! Which Marvel drama starring Tom Hiddleston aired this week? Um, no clue. It's low key. Slimer! Oh. Grandma Betty Freeman oh. is celebrating her 100th birthday by doing what on social media? Um, she did a, <laughs> a, a live video. <laughs> Telling 100 jokes is the answer. Slimer! Oh. Teacher Alex Roberts travelled halfway around the world to compete in what competition? Um, a dancing competition. International Air Guitar Championship. Oh. Slimer! Oh. It was announced last week that which famous clay animation figures will be honoured with a statue in Preston? Um... <laughs> it was Wallace uh. and Gromit, so just Slimer. Oh. And, uh... Finally. Oh, this is a heavy one. I'm sorry. Oh, lovely stuff. You've got like a shield around you. I keep missing you, but obviously I've hit you. Now you've got one question. It means no, you've got no questions. I'm living in a different world. That's no points, Carmen, but do you feel all right? Yeah, no, I feel good. You look fantastic. I think we need some points, don't we agree? Yeah, we need some points. Yeah, so I can understand the rules of the game. Uh, well, after the news comes the weather. Over to you, Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. <laughs> if you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. Thank you very much, Carol. Now, Karma, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. But if you get it incorrect, you'll be facing more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Brilliant. All right, can I have some tension music, please? Here is 
Your ultimate question, Karma, feeling confident? Yeah. Yeah. Here's your question. Yeah. In 1996, the European Football Championship was won by a golden goal, but which player scored that goal in 1996? The only footballer I know is David Becker. Not sure how old he was in 96, <laughs> but uh, that is incorrect. The actual answer is Oliver Meerhoff, which means it's time to Super Slam you! That's karma. How do you feel now? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You've got my Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Nancy has been chosen by the public to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's head over to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. <clears throat> yes, that's right. Uh, Fiona Slew's here. Now, Nancy will be asked a series of questions. Get one right, she gets a point. But news, Justin, get one wrong, she'll get a bucket of slime lobbed in her face. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> It's very likely that you're about to be slimed. How are you feeling? I'm OK. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you're OK. Good yeah. stuff. All right, well, here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> Who announced this week that they are leaving Radio 1 after 14 years? You're running out of time. Nick Grimshaw, Slimer! Oh, my July my is named after which notable Roman general? Julian Caesar, Slimer! Oh. Which American rapper announced that she was pregnant this week? Huh? Anyone? I don't know! A Cardi rapper. B, Slimer! Oh. Ukraine secured their place in tonight's Euro quarterfinal by beating which team? Hey, pardon? Have a guess. No, I just... Which team? <laughs> Whatever. Sweden, Slimer! Oh. Who was announced as the new host of The Weakest Link this week? I don't know! Romesh Ranganathan Slimer! <laughs> Which American national holiday is celebrated tomorrow on the 4th of July? 4th of July for what? Independence Day. Slimer! <laughs> it was World Social Media Day this week, but on which day of the week did it fall? Have a guess. Have a guess. Any day. Let's do it! Which Any day, day of the week? Give us a day, Nancy. Do it! OK. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Which birthstone is associated with the month of July? Hey! <laughs> Ruby <laughs> Slimer! <laughs> Which 23-time Grand Slam winner dropped out of Wimbledon on Tuesday due to an injury? You've got this, come on. No. No? Serena Williams Slimer! <laughs> oh, dear, Nancy, and finally... Oh, <laughs> oh Nancy, are you all right? It's a lot of slime today, are you all right? <laughs> I feel fabulous. You got that question right. Back into... Did we get any questions correct? We got no points, Nancy, but don't worry. Hey, do not worry, Nancy. Do you want to add some points? Because it can all change. Do you want to add more points? No, just do it. <laughs> just do it means yes in my ears, because after the news comes the weather. Over to you, Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. If you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. So, Nancy, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard. Oh, Nancy. But if you get it wrong, you'll be facing more slime than you've ever seen Not in yet. your entire life. Can I have some tension music, please? It's not yet, Nancy. It's so, Nancy, how are you feeling? OK, are you I'm good. Confident okay. about the confident. ultimate question? Yes. Yeah? All right. Hopefully you'll get this right so you won't need to see any more slime. Blackpool is synonymous with Strictly Come Dancing, but on what date was the famous Blackpool Tower opened? Meow! 
Any you know year. when it was open? Give it a guess. Any, Any year. random day. Any year. 26th of May. Yeah, yeah which what year? year? Any year? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer is the 14th of May. So you got the month right. 1891, which means wow. we wow. are about to super slime you. But before we do You've that, I think it's only right if we get your partner in crime, Neil, to do the first bucket. Yeah. Neil, ready? Sorry, Nancy. Let's do it. Nancy, it, I promise you, now it's stopped. You've done absolutely brilliantly. It was Are we really bit... finished? Really finished. Are you sure? All right? I yeah. cannot hear you. Oh, that's all right. I'll just sing. You feel OK? Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards, and here are this morning's top stories. Amber has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. So for the latest, let's head over to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. Uh, yes, that's two front row tickets, JLS. Uh, yeah, that's right, Gu. Yes, Amber here will be asked a series of questions. Get one correct, brilliant. She earns a point. However, news just in. Get one incorrect, she'll get a bucket of slime or many locked in her face. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. <laughs> It's very likely you're about to be slimed. How are you feeling just out of interest? I'm just trying not to think about it. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, oh. really I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, here's the headline, and your 90-second interrogation starts. <gasps> now, the England men's football team play in the Euros final tomorrow night, but when did they last feature in a major international final? 66. Correct. Whoa! The NHS celebrated his birthday this week, but how old did the National Health Service turn? Give it a guess. 100? 73. Slime oh, yeah. The Queen visited the set of which UK TV show this week? Pardon? The Queen visited the set of which oh, UK... Oh, Coronation Street. Correct. The Wimbledon finals take place this weekend, but what is the name of the hawk used to scare away pigeons before play begins? What? Pass? Slime Rufus. Oh. Slime on Releasing their debut single, but what was it? Wallaby! Correct! The new host of A Question of Sport was revealed this week. Who is it? I don't know! In Rugby Union, the British and Irish Lions face which South African team later today? I didn't hear that. Sean Simon! Which new Marvel film was released in UK cinemas earlier on this week? Which Marvel film? I don't know! The yes. Cannes Film Festival 2021 launched earlier this week, but in which European country does it take place? Cannes? Slime. France. Slime. Oh. In cricket, England oh. faced Pakistan today at which famous venue? Say that again, sorry. In cricket, England faced Pakistan today no at which idea, famous no venue? Idea, no idea. Lord Slime! Oh. And uh, finally. <gasps> Oh, you sound like a force field. I missed you. I think it's because at the beginning of the show you said you've just done your hair. How does your hair feel? <laughs> I think it needs a wash. It's actually quite good for your hair, Amber. It's all right. Now, I can tell you, you got three points. That's three yeah! questions. Yeah! I feel like you can get more points. Do you want more points? Yes, please. You can do so. That's a strange answer. You can do because after the news comes the weather for the latest, it's Carol Kirkwood. There's a major downpour of slime moving in over the Saturday mashup studio. Super if you answer this next question wrong, you will be totally covered. Oh, yes! I've never been better. It's time for your ultimate question. So, Amber, um, uh, you all right there? I'm good. Yeah, you're good. All right, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score, which takes you right to the top of the leaderboard! Oh, but <laughs> if you answer it incorrectly, you'll see more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life, OK? I'm sorry. Tension music, please. <laughs> Here is your ultimate question. Feeling confident? I am. You've got yeah. All right. 
The UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying tournament was played from March 2019 to November 2020. Harry Kane was the top scorer. <laughs> but how many goals were scored by all the teams in total? It's more than one. Give it a guess. It is a trick question. It's I'm more than one, I'll tell you that. I'm going to say... 40. Slime. 40. Slime. I'm so sorry, Amber. That's incorrect. <laughs> the answer is actually 826, which means it's now time to say <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Hello there, yes, I'm Sludge Rinder and this is Slime and Punishment! Slime and Sickle, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! Oh, it's my order. Let's have a look, I said no pineapple! <clears throat> Charlotte, the jury has found you guilty for crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? I got nothing. I got Objection nothing. Objection of our own, Charlotte! <laughs> May I introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Harps Court Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Charlotte with a series of tough questions. Mm. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if she gets it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slosh this when she receives a right bucket of slime in her face. It's a real now, word. Now, Charlotte, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. Ed Sheeran announced this week that he'd be releasing a new album in October, but what will it be titled? I got no idea. Equal Slime <laughs> Which Scottish <laughs> city council has banned puddings like jelly and custard from school dinners? Sorry? <laughs> Which Scottish city council has banned puddings like jelly and custard from school dinners? Edinburgh. Glasgow, Slimer! <laughs> After today, how many Saturdays are there left until the end of 2021? Uh, Give it a guess. 25. Nope, 17. Slimer! <laughs> Tom Cruise was this week spotted filming scenes for the new Mission Impossible film in a shopping centre in which UK city? London. Birmingham, Slimer! <laughs> what dairy-based drink did a major fast food chain run out of this week? I have no idea again. Milkshake Here Slimer! We go. Here we go. Musician Elliot Gleave announced he'll be releasing a comeback single, but what's he better known as? The, the juggler. Example, Slimer! <laughs> Paralympian Ellie Simmons, you should know this one, carried the GB flag at the opening ceremony this week, but which sport does she compete in? Uh, Ellie in. Simmons. But, oh, um, swimming? Correct! Yes! <laughs> Identity <laughs> cards will be given to what animal kept as a pet in Sri Lanka? A monkey. Elephant slime heart. <laughs> Kanye West announced he was changing his name to what this week? Pass. Yay. Slime heart. <laughs> Joe Swash appeared on Celebrity MasterChef this week, but who is his famous wife? Oh, I don't know any celebrities. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> slime heart. <laughs> Yes, yes. Slush this has indeed been served. Now, Chad, you've actually got one point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to add more points to score so you could get off the hook? Yeah, yes, well, just give it a go. I sentence you to another question, Charlotte. It's time for this. Charlotte, answer the ultimate question correctly. You'll leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. OK? But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it can't be legal. Please, can I have some tension music? Here is your ultimate question, Charlotte. How are you feeling? I feel like it can't get much worse than it already is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK, well, you've seen nothing yet. Oh, dear. Here is your ultimate question. The first modern Olympic Games were held in Athens on the 6th of April, 1896. But... How many days ago was that? <laughs> uh, quick maths. That was um, quite a few years ago. <laughs> Have a guess. Have a guess. 2,591. 591 days. 2,591. 2,500. <laughs> All right, OK. You are quite far off. That was the, brilliant. That's incorrect. 
The answer is 45,799 days, which means we are about to super slime you. But before we do that, I think it's only right that we get the other BMXer into his, into this My platform. My goodness. Hi, He's getting you have the first bag. bucket. <laughs> super <laughs> slime For you, Charlotte, feeling good? I feel never better. You look never Best better. Best day of my life. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Yes, this is slime and punishment. I am passionate about law and order. This is Laura Norder. <laughs> Lovely woman. It's a shame she's a prolific criminal. <laughs> Speaking of which, Alice, the jury have found you guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? Well, if I'm honest, I actually can't believe you're doing this Objection to... over an Olympian, so... Order! <laughs> May I introduce to you the case for prosecution, order. I'm Arts Court Attorney at Law. In a moment, I'll be cross-examining Alice with a series of tough questions. Mm. If our star gets it right, they get one point. If they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush disc when they receive a right good bucket of slime <laughs> in their face. That's the one. So it's yes. time to take to the stand now, Alice. Your 90-second interrogation starts <laughs> now. <laughs> Which Texas born pop superstar turns 40 today? Give it a guess. Texas? Want to give it a guess? I have no idea. Beyonce, slide oh! on! Which nation's football association has announced men and women footballers will be paid the same? <laughs> what was that? The Republic of Ireland, slide oh! on! 11-year-old Nandi Bushell played drums on stage with which band this week? Which Want to give it a guess? <laughs> I don't know. The Foo Fighters, oh! slide on! One show presenter, Alex Jones, named her new baby daughter. Have a guess. Any girl. Ellie. Hey. Ellie. 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 Oh, you're close. It's Annie. Oh. 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 The Royal Mint has unveiled a special 50p coin commemorating which famous bear? Bear. Any famous bear that you know, Alex? <sighs> no. Winnie the Pooh. Slime oh. oh. Who's playing Cinderella? in a new streaming movie released yesterday. I didn't know there was one coming out. Camilla <laughs> Cabello Slime! <laughs> the trailer for the new James Bond movie has been released, but what is it called? Oh, the new James Bond it. movie. Any guesses? No. No, Slime! no time to die. Slime! Slime! Which group are releasing a deluxe version of their first album to celebrate its 25th anniversary? The Spice Girls, Slime Heart. Oh, my. Slushtis has indeed been served. Alice, now I can tell you, we've totaled up the scores. It didn't take long. No points there. <laughs> um, are you feeling OK, Alice? Great. For the Slushtis. Well, you know what? Good news. You can add more points. Would you like to do that, potentially? You could get off the hook. Oh, dear. Well, we're doing it anyway. I sentence you to one final question. Oh, dear. Alice, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score and you'll leave the studio a free person. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in more slime that it just cannot be legal. It cannot be legal. Can I please have some tension music? Tension. Alice, how are you feeling? Good, I just can't open my eyes. Oh, OK, no worries. You just need to listen out that's, for the ultimate that's question. That's the ears. <laughs> The next Summer Olympic Games take place in Paris in 2024. But what is the postcode of the Eiffel Tower? Sorry, I've got no idea. Do you want to give it a guess? Does it begin with P? Well, it begins with P, surely. Actually, there's no letters in oh. the postcode. Oh. The answer is 75007. I'm so sorry, Alice. What's happening? It's time to Super Slime You! <laughs> Alice, more slush ever been to Paris, Alice? <laughs> ever been to Paris? 
Salas. Hello. How does it compare to the Olympics, eh? A lot worse. Yes. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder and this is Slime and Punishment. Yay! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I must rest my case, because it's actually quite heavy. Huh? Oh. Apologies, Barbara. Uh, yes, Cleo, you, the mashup jury, has found you guilty of Clark crimes punishable by slime. Get yourself together, Rinder. What say you? Anything? Nothing. I've got nothing to say. Well, I'll take you over, Rinder, that way, Cleo. I must now introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Harps Court Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Cleo with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush this when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Cleo, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! Which actress married film director Charlie McDowell this week? Me, Lily Collins, Summer! <laughs> Who won the Mercury Prize 2021? Uh, ooh, I have no idea. Alan Parks, <laughs> Keeping up with the Kardashians announced her second pregnancy this week. Kylie Jenner. Correct. Yay! It was Michael Bublé's birthday on Thursday this week, but how old is he? Have a guess. Ten. <laughs> Forty-six, <laughs> not bad. Simon! He does have good skin. Which American singer and actor will play soul legend Aretha Franklin in a new film about her life? I really should know this, but I don't. Jennifer Indy. Hudson. Slime her. <laughs> Which British 18-year-old tennis star has reached the US Open final? Oh, I don't know. Emma Raducanu, slime her. <laughs> Which five-member male British band announced their comeback this week? JLS. No. Ooh, no, what? it's actually no, the Wanted. Oh, no, slime her. Slime her. <laughs> JLS has four members. Scotland is set to get its third national park. Name one of the two existing parks, please. Um, uh, Cleo Park and... <laughs> I don't know, John. No, no. No, oh. unfortunately. Oh. King on the Lodgman Slimer! <laughs> the Great British Bake Off is back on our screen soon. Can you name one of the judges? Oh, uh, uh, Paul Hollywood. Correct! Yeah. A painting that shredded itself after being bought at auction is now back on sale. Maybe the artist behind the work, the answer's Banksy Slimer. I'll do it anyway. Oh, oh yes! OK. Some rough slush dish, Cleo Demonigu. You got two points! Yeah! Oh, do you want to potentially add more points? Um, yeah, I'd love to. Well, you can. I sentence you to one further question. Cleo, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you'll add 20 points to your score. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. So, please, can I have some tension music? Here is your ultimate question. Cleo, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling so good. So ready. OK, here it is. <laughs> CBBC turned 36 on Thursday, but on which date did it first win a BAFTA for Channel of the Year? Obviously I know this, because this is just something I would know. So I'm going to go for the first... Take your time. First of January. Uh, oh, it wouldn't be there, would it? We could celebrate on New Year's. 2040. Would you like to pick a day? Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't think we've yeah. been there yet. <laughs> <laughs> You're very close. <laughs> Not. The real answer is Sunday, the 30th of November 2008, which means, I'm sorry, Cleo, it's time to Super Summer! <laughs> Feel good. I feel so good. Yes, could this be a very awkward, awkward <laughs> moment, Cleo? I really love this so much. Yes, though, is this worse or better than the hot sauce episode? This is just so much better. Oh, love it, sir. But you let it settle then. Write it in a script for a future episode. That's okay, you don't need to. But... Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now.
I'm Sludge Render, and this is Slime and Punishment! Objection overruled! Objection overruled! Right way around. Oh. It's not the best, but we try our best. Now the mashup jury, you have decided that Liv Cook will be punished crimes punishable by slime. It makes sense when I read it earlier. <laughs> Liv, what say you? How am I here? What's going on? Objection overruled again! Again! But now I must introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Harp's core attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Liv with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets the answer right, they get one point. However, if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush mm. when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. It's time to take to the stand, Liv. Your 90-second interrogation starts... Now! Oh my God. <gasps> Which member of the royal family will be hosting a brand new TV show starting tomorrow all about the environment? Meghan. Prince William. Slimer! <laughs> new James Bond film was released this week. What is it called? I didn't even get the question. Oh, James Bond! Yeah, what's the film? What's uh, the film called? Time Take. Uh, I don't know. No <laughs> time to die. Slimer! <laughs> A new high tech satellite into Earth's orbit. What is it called? Oh, satellite. Satellite. Landsat 9. Oh. 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 Cristiano Ronaldo scored a last minute winner oh. for Manchester United in the Champions League on Wednesday night against which club? Any football team. So, uh, what? <laughs> right, Atletico. <laughs> Villarreal. Oh. Which unusual body part did Foo Fighters frontman Dave Grohl admit using to drum with this week? Just guess. Elbow. No, it was teeth. Ooh. Slimer! <laughs> Astronaut Tim Peake has released a new children's book this week, but where in space has he said he wants to visit next week? Mars. Next, not next week. Why did I say next week? <laughs> the answer is the moon. Slimer! Ah. <laughs> Strictly Come Dancing star Tilly Ramsey says her first performance on the, la on the show last Saturday made her dad cry. But who is her famous father? Um, Tilly Ramsey. What's her Who? Title? David Ramsey. Tilly Rats. Oh, <laughs> Gordon Ramsey. <laughs> Correct! <laughs> the British Museum has asked for their money back after an artist delivered an exhibition full of words. <laughs> the answer was blank canvases, Joe, so slime her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rules, are we? Now, lots of slustish <laughs> there, Liv Cook. You got one point. You feeling okay? No. Ready it's in my mouth. Freestyle and slam. Well, you can have more points. I sentence you to one further question. <laughs> Liv, answer the ultimate question correctly. You'll leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourselves 20 points. Ooh. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. <laughs> Please, can I have some tension music? Right, Liv, ready? No. All right. <laughs> I'm not ready. Here is your ultimate question. Today marks 45 years since the launch of Multicoloured Swap Shop, the first children's Saturday morning TV show. But what was the phone number viewers used to call the show? Are you joking? Are you joking? There wasn't one. I it think it's a trick question, exist. don't you, Liv? <laughs> they didn't exist. Oh, they didn't they exist. exist. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they had telephones. Oh, did they? <laughs> Maybe not more, but... <laughs> no, they <didn't>. Right, right. <laughs> the answer is 01 811 8055, <laughs> which means <laughs> it's time to super slime <laughs> Full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! I must consult the briefs. <clears throat> <laughs> do you think she did it? Do you, do you think she's guilty? Me too. Ah! Sean! Sorry, Sean, <laughs> you have been found guilty. The jury have found you guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you? I think Sonny J really wants Objection, to have a Objection, I'm a Sean from the radio on the morning. I must now introduce to you the case for prosecution. 
I'm Harps Court attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Shan with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets it right, they get one point. However, if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough mm -hmm. slushness when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. <gasps> so, Shan, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! <laughs> Which British singer is set to appear on US talent show The Voice as a mega mentor? Adele? Ed Sheeran. Slice! Oh! Oh! This fashion week ended on Wednesday, but which famous cartoon family modelled outfits on the runway? The Simpsons? Correct! Oh! Which celebrity dancer was knocked out of last Saturday's Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, I missed it! Nina Wadia. Slice! Oh! Oh! Including today, how many days of the year have there been so far in 2021? How many days? Uh, 205. Ooh, 282. Oh! <laughs> a special set of stamps are being issued to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the formation of which sport? I didn't understand the question. Rugby Football <laughs> Union. Slime <laughs> A rare collection of drawing sketches and paintings by which champion boxer has sold at auction for nearly $1 million? Um, Take a guess. Floyd Mayweather. Muhammad Ali. Oh! Slime <laughs> TV star Sharon Osbourne's birthday today, but how old is she? Um, how old is Shazza? 60? 69! Oh! Which British racing driver has recently celebrated their 100th Formula One race win? Uh, um, Hamilton! Correct! Yes. The spacecraft Bepi Colombo returned on Monday with black and white photos of which planet? Uh, the moon? Mercury! Oh! <laughs> Loose women panellist and former X Factor contestant gave birth to a baby girl this week. Oh, um, Stacey Solomon! Correct! Yes. Oh, we oh. ran out of time. No. What was that for? Because it was weighing me down. Oh. Three points, three questions, that's good. Don't laugh at my life. It's a safety. Now, how do you feel? How do you feel? Um, very slimy. You, you shan't be getting out of this one. Oh. <laughs> oh. Took me two hours to think of that. Right there, well, I sent you to one further question. No. <laughs> So, Sean, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you give yourself 20 points. Mm. Yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? Uh. Here is your ultimate question, Sean. Feeling confident? Definitely not. All right. Here goes. The very first commercial song played on Capital Radio was Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. But how long is that song oh. in seconds? Oh. Uh, 350 seconds. Ooh, the answer is actually 293 seconds, no. which means you are You're wrong. wrong. But before you get super slimed, I think it's only right if Sonny J takes no. the first bucket. Yeah. Don't let Sonny in. Don't let Sonny in. Stunned! Got a face for radio, Sean. Now, I'm a joke. Thanks. It's okay. You look wonderful now. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. <laughs> I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime. I'm Punishment! Yeah! Last week, Sean was given a very long sentence. Here it is, just here. Do, 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 do. Ah! That's a very long sentence, Sean, and you deserved it. But right now, you... Sorry! You, the mashup jury, have found Stacey guilty of crimes punishable by slime. Stacey, what say you in your defence? Not guilty! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! I must now introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Harps Court Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Stacey with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they earn one point. Mm. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush disc when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. 
So, Stacey, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. Which singer has been named the UK's most played female artist of the 21st century? Adele. Nope, it's Pink Slime. Yeah. is releasing a new coin to celebrate which monarch's life? At the Queen? Henry VIII. Slime. Yeah. Katie McGlynn was eliminated from Strictly Come Dancing at the weekend, but who was her dance partner? Uh, Gorka. Correct! Yay! Doctor Who is set to return to our TV screens on Saturday the 31st of October, but which actor currently plays the Doctor? Oh, 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 oh. Pass. Jodie Whittaker. Oh, oh, oh. Dancing on Ice have revealed a full lineup for the new series, but which duo present the show? Uh, uh, Anne Deck. Holly Willoughby and oh. Philip Schofield. Slime! Oh, oh. Their next tour will partly be powered by a dance floor that generates electricity when fans do what? Scream? Jump up and down. <laughs> Which 81-year-old iconic singer sold the rights to her music catalogue recently for $50 million? Ooh. Uh, Dolly Parton? Tina Turner. <laughs> Slammer! <laughs> Which star sign would you be if you were born today? Uh, Sagittarius. Libra. Slimer! Yeah! 26 words from which East Asian language have been recently added to the Oxford English Dictionary? Uh, Hindi. Korean. Slimer! Yeah! Which American actor will become the oldest person to go to space at 90 years old? Shatner. William Shatner. Yeah! Correct! Yeah! I mean, I am currently holding the bucket, oh! so I've got to get rid of <laughs> Stacey Liu. Oh. Covered in goo. Mm -hmm. You got two questions right, meaning two points. Yeah! Do you want to add more points? I would love more points. I thought that would be the answer. It suits the rest of the show. Because <laughs> I sent you to one final question. Type this. So, Stacey, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Ooh! But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. No, 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 no. no, no. Can I have some tension music, please? Tense, tense, tense. Here is your ultimate question, Stacey. Feeling confident? Not at all. Okie doke. Here is your question. What was the last line? of the first ever episode of The Dumping Ground. Have a little think about it. It's the last not. line of the first episode. Uh, the end? Do you oh. think it was the end? It was actually, I'm orange, and it was Gus Carmichael's line, which means we are about to super slime you. But before we do that, I think it's only right that Leo does the first book. Yeah. Yeah. Stacy, I'm coming for you. involved in the courtroom. Oh, I'm going to get you back. Nice. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. <laughs> I'm Sludge Render, and this is Slime and Punishment! Yeah! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I must call upon the key witness. Thank you for coming in. It's the key. What's that? Hang on a second. Guilty? Maybe guilty? Throw away the key, I say. Oh! Oh, sorry! That was weird. Uh, Katie! <laughs> you... You have been found guilty by the mashup jury of slimes, crimes, punishable by slam. How do you... How do you feel? You all right? I'm scared. <laughs> Objection overruled! I might use more accents later on. Time now to introduce the case for prosecution. Mm, I'm Barrister Wyatt. Please be quiet. Nice. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Katie with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they earn one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt some rough slush discs. When they receive a bucket of slime straight to the face. It goes there. Katie, it's time to take the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. Last week, Greg Wise was voted out of Strictly Come Dancing, but who is his famous wife? 
Emma Thompson. Yay! That's correct. <laughs> Your next question. This, the COP26 Climate Summit takes place next month, but where is it being held? I've got no idea. Oh, that's incorrect. <laughs> All right, your next question. Adele is due to release an album next month, but how many years has it been since her last? Uh, three. Three is incorrect, I'm afraid. It's six years! <laughs> oh! The next question. The greatest showman, Zac Efron, celebrated his birthday this week, but how old is he? How old, Zac? Ooh, 32. Oh, close! 34 years oh. is the correct Prequel started filming in Bath, but who is set to play the lead the lead role of Willy Wonka? Oh, I've got no idea. Oh, oh it's Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. <laughs> Which singer got his song to number one in the UK last week? 16 years since he had last number one. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the slime got me. Which singer got his song to number one in the UK last week? 16 years. Yes, correct answer. Jacksonville Jaguars beat Miami Dolphins 23-20 in the last of this year's NFL London games. But in which stadium was the game played? London. I don't know. Oh, that's incorrect. It's the London <laughs> There was lots of words there and lots of slime. Katie Magoo, how say you? You're all right. Yeah, I'm a bit slimy. Well, Ed, to make yourself feel better, you actually got two questions right, meaning two points. <laughs> You're not off the hook. More questions means more points. Do you want another question? Yes. OK, yeah, then. Right. Well, I've sentenced you to one further question. It's time for this. All right, Katie, answer the ultimate question correctly, and you'll leave the studio a free person. Plus, you'll add 20 points to your score. Mm. But get it wrong, and you'll be covered in so much slime, it can't be legal. Be legal. <sighs> Can we have some tension music, please? Okay. <laughs> We're just building up tension, Katie. The ultimate question. The Orion Nid meteor shower peaked on Thursday and will last until the 6th of November. Scientists recorded the fastest meteor ever in 2012, but at what speed was it traveling at in kilometers per second? Easy peasy. Have a guess. 50. Oh. Are you sure, Katie? No. <laughs> oh. I got a play. Oh. All right, Dave, that is an incorrect answer. The answer is 28.6 kilometers. Oh. So that means we are going to super yeah. slime you, Katie! Ah, oh, now, you're very slimy. Yes, I'm you, sodded. Are you feeling very beautifully slimed? Yeah, I feel like Fiona out of Shrek. Oh, <laughs> lovely. it's lovely to have you here. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Cutie and this is Slime and Punishment. Yeah! Charges. We have got three pack of onions, two ninety nine. Swedish cat massager, eight pounds. Joe Tasker's autobiography, thirty nine pence. <laughs> Rosie, the jury has found you guilty of punish uh, of crimes punishable by slime. Is there anything you'd like to say in your defence? Well, I think I've been wrongly convicted here. Ah, I know. Objection overruled. May I introduce you to the prosecution? I'm Hawks for attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Rosie with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets it right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush this when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Rosie, it's time to take it to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts Ooh. now. Uh, Adele announced this week that she will perform her first live shows for five years in which UK city? Uh, London. Correct. <laughs> a piece of art set to oh, be auctioned on Monday was drawn by which member of the Beatles on a trip to Scotland? Uh, 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 John Lennon, uh, Which 
American actor caused a big commotion after gay crash in a couple's wedding in California on Wednesday? Oh, um, uh, Tom Hanks. Correct. <laughs> Some hynophobia is the fear of what? Spiders. Halloween. Slime oh, Which Hollywood oh, actor like stars as Buzz Lightyear in a new Toy Story spin-off film? No idea. Sorry. Chris Evans. Slime oh, Which celebrity was knocked out of Strictly Come Dancing last weekend? I don't, uh, don't know. You go, Monia. Yeah. Slime yeah. Who became the first England women's football player to score a hat trick at Wembley this week? I know no English football here. Oh, Let's meet oh, Slime oh, oh, A fully oh, vegan football boot has been created by which Manchester United yeah. footballer? Uh, Rashford. Paul Pogba. Oh, Slime oh, Police in Arizona ended up in a late night chase this week when what? Animal escaped and ran through a residential neighbourhood. Snake. They don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Which sports presenter was named as Louise Minch's replacement on BBC Breakfast earlier this week? Ooh. I don't know. Sally Nugent. Oh. Cristiano Ronaldo announced this week that his partner is expecting twins, but which UK football team does he play for? This has been said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosie, how are you feeling? I am completely sloshed right well, now. It's been expected. You managed to get two, which is all right. But now I'm sentencing, sentencing you to one more question. It's time for this. So, Rosie, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just. It can't be legal. So can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question, Rosie. How are you feeling? I mean, it didn't taste very nice. OK. <laughs> well, here it is. Emmerdale was first broadcast on Monday, the 16th of October, 1972. But, my friend, how many days ago was that? Nineteen <laughs> seventy. <laughs> Oh, uh, 4,800. Is that it? Is that it? 4,000. But anyway, that's the incorrect answer. Well, the actual answer is 17,912, which means it's time to Super Simon! Yeah! Yeah! Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! Yeah. <laughs> Last week, Rosie was seeking damages. If you insist, Rosie. <laughs> 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 This one's damaged. You can have this one. It's on its way. OK, now, Rio, you have been found guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? I know I was giving it at the beginning, at the beginning, but I don't deserve no, it. Objection, no, 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 objection, no, 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 I now introduce to you the case for prosecution. I'm Hearts Core Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Rio with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets the answer right, they get one point, but if they get it wrong, they will receive some rough slushness right in their face. Mm -hmm. So, Rio, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <laughs> the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame welcomed new members this week, but which former Beatle performed alongside Foo Fighters? Um, Paul McCartney. Correct. Whoa. Poisonous plants that look like parsnips have washed up on beaches in which British co uh, county? I don't know. It's Cumbria. Slam! Oh. Tottenham Hotspur have appointed a new manager this week. Who is it? I didn't hear the question. OK, Antonio Conte, can't give you that. Slam! Oh. Which celebrity was voted off Strictly Come Dancing last week? No, no. Judy Love. Slam! Oh. The COP26 conference is happening in which UK city this Glasgow. week? Glasgow. Correct. Yay! Idris Elba gave which DJ the Music Industry Trust's Lifetime Achievement Award this week? Pete Tong. Correct. Yay! Sales of what item are said to have almost doubled this year as eager shoppers stock up for Christmas? Frozen turkey. Slam <laughs> Which musician has been celebrated on a series of stamps released by the post office on the Isle of Man this week? 
haven't got a clue. Sir Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees. Sliver! <laughs> the Women's Rugby World Cup was found in an attic last week, but for how many years had it been considered lost? Um... Give it a 26. guess. 26. 15. Oh. Sliver! Oh. A robot dog called Spot has learnt the dance moves to which song by the Rolling Stones? Don't know. Start me up. Slime hole! <laughs> Which actress has become Coronation <laughs> Street's first dame of receiving the honour oh, of Windsor man. Castle? Slime her job. Oh, that's what oh, oh, unexpected. Oh, You're not oh, off the hook. You got three questions right. Do you feel fulfilled with three? No. Who would? Who would? No. Would you like to add more points? Yeah, go on then. Everybody would. So <laughs> let's send it to you to one final question. Time for this, don't you know? Rio, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. 20. <laughs> but if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? It's very tense. Rio, it's time for your ultimate question. How are you feeling? Great, love it. Uh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, the slime matches your top. You look good. <laughs> Here is your ultimate question. It was bonfire night last night. On what date was the first ever recorded fireworks display in the UK? Um, the 5th of November, 1939. Ooh, you sure? That's your final answer? It's final answer. OK. It's incorrect. The right answer is the 18th of January, oh. 1486. Oh. And it was actually for King Henry VII's wedding day. Just a fun fact for everyone, you know? I didn't know that either. Well, well, anyway, you know what that means? It's time to Super Summer! <laughs> Good, yeah? Great, I love like it. The game, this, it me. <laughs> oh, God. well, I'll let that settle in. What do you think about Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Render, and this is Slime and Punishment! <laughs> Silence in court. I must now call upon the first witness. <clears throat> the number you're calling has not been recognised. Oh, since then, you're calling oh, us. I must pay my bills. Anyway, Tilly, you have been found guilty by the mashup jury of crimes punishable by the slam. What say you, Tilly? Uh, what? Objection overruled, Tilly and Marty. I know, I oh, dare I say. I must now introduce to you the case of the prosecution. I'm Hearts Court Attorney at Law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Tilly with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush this when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Tilly, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts. Put that bucket down! No! Oh. Olympian Adam Peaty was voted out of Strictly last week, but in which sport is he a world record holder? Tennis. Tennis. Swimming. Slime oh. Which Manchester United footballer received an MBE this week for his campaign work? <laughs> I don't know. Marcus Rashford. Slime oh. This year's Great British Bake Off competition is underway on Channel 4, but how many more episodes are left of the series? Give it a guess. A number. Oh. Two! Ooh. Slime Hall! Yeah. Gordon Ramsay's birthday was on Monday, but what's his star sign? Uh, uh, oh, oh, Capricorn! Guess. Oh, it's actually Scorpio. Oh. Slime Hall! Yeah. It's been 20 years since the first Harry Potter film came out, but which actor played the title role? Uh, uh, Daniel! Summer! Yes. Daniel! Give me that then. Go on, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Yes, which artist currently has three top ten tracks in the official singles UK chart? Oh, Shakira. <laughs> Ed Sheeran, Slimer! Yeah, Shakira. Who did Andy Murray beat 6 1 in the opening oh. round of the Stockholm Open? Uh, uh, Serena Williams. I hope I can say it right. Victor Jurasovic. Slimer. Yeah. Top Gear 
returns tomorrow with Paddy McGuinness and Freddie Flintoff, but can you name the third host? Oh, no. Chris <laughs> Harris, slime <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not coming at you with a bucket of slime. Don't worry about your eyes, bud. Feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling sludgy. <laughs> you should feel sludgy with one sludgy point. Don't do you want to add more points? Uh, I'm feeling moist. Right, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> well, you can, because I'm sentencing you to one further question. <laughs> it's time for this. So, Tilly, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points! OK. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't <laughs> be legal. Mm. Can I have some tension music, please? Tilly, are you ready? <laughs> I don't I'll ever be. OK. <laughs> Here is your ultimate question. The first NASA mission to send a woman to the moon surface has been pushed back to 2025. But how many days has it been since the first man landed on the moon? Easy. 365. Is that oh. it? <laughs> that's a year. That's a year. I made 3,655 and nine. <laughs> that's still incorrect. Is the it? right answer is 19,109 days, which means it's time to super sign <laughs> Sandwich. Full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Goo Edwards and here are this morning's top stories. Katia has been voted by the public to receive a right good sliming. For the latest, let's go live to our correspondent on the scene, is Sliman McCoy. Thank you very much, Goo. Yes, incredible scenes over here. Our Strictly star, Katya, will answer a series of questions based on this week's news. And if she gets a question correct, lovely days, she earns a point. News just in. If she gets a question incorrect, she gets a bucket of slime in her face. Don't go anywhere. We'll be bringing you live coverage as the situation unfolds. This is the Slime O'Clock News. Mm -hmm. It's very likely, Katia, that you're about to get slimed this morning. How are you feeling about it? I'm cold, but I think <laughs> after the mess I've made in that cupboard, I deserve it. You do? Yeah, you do deserve it. Well, <laughs> here's the headline. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <gasps> it's Peter Crouch's birthday today. How old is he? 59! Nope, you're wrong. It's 40. Slimer! <laughs> BBC One right now. What? What program is on BBC One right now? <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 revealed this week that he wanted to follow in his mum's footsteps and release music. Uh, Harper, whatever his name is. <laughs> Brooklyn! Whatever his name is, it's Cruz Beckham Slimer! Yeah. <laughs> Who left his role as the manager of Chelsea Football Club this week? Me! <laughs> <laughs> you wish it was Front Lampard Slimer! <laughs> How many days are there in January? 31! Correct! The Junior Bake Off final was yesterday, but which comedian hosts the show? Do you like baking? I can't remember. You're too long, it's Harry Hill Slimer! <laughs> On Thursday, which national day was celebrated? National Kazoo Day or National Party Popper Day? I guess. Uh, Party Whopper Day. <laughs> it was Kazoo, I think you should Slimer anyway. <laughs> and 
finally. Sorry, Dad. Enough! Wow. OK. I'm going to do a lunge. It's OK, Katya. Take a breather. How do you feel? I can't see, but I feel fantastic. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you how many points you got. You got <laughs> one point. <laughs> one point. Do you want to add more points to it? If I have to get slimed, then no. Uh, well, after the news comes the weather and we're expecting every torrential downpour, we're in Salford. It looks a little summer. A lot of this! I feel great. <laughs> so, <laughs> to avoid the super slime, you need to answer the ultimate question, Katia. If you get it right, you'll add 20 points to your score, taking you right to the top of the leaderboard. All the way up there. <laughs> but if you get it incorrect, you'll be covered in more slime than you've ever seen in your entire life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can I have some tension music, please? <laughs> oh, it's tense. Here's your ultimate <laughs> question, Katia. How many episodes of the regular series of Strictly Come Dancing have there been across the years? That's the show you're on. 18! <laughs> Is 18? That it? Is that it? I'm sure there's a lot more than that. Um, well, you're wrong. The correct answer is 214, which means we need to... Super Slime! Good, yes or no? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let that sink in. Here's what's going up next week. You all right? <laughs> I'm Goo Edwards, and here is today's top story. Over the last few months, the public have been voting for celebs to receive a right good sliming. For the latest, let's head over to our correspondent on the scene, Fiona Sluice. Incredible scenes here, Goo. Some people have taken it on the chin. <laughs> Some people have tried to hide from it. <laughs> and some people have really enjoyed themselves. Right. I feel good. Never been better. Hey, you look fine, but doesn't she look amazing? But which one has been the best? Back to Goo in studio. Thanks, Fiona. To answer that question, we're heading over to our roving reporter, voiceover Tom, with the top five mashup slimings. This is the Slime O'Clock News. All right, slime fans, it's time to count down the top five mashup slimings of the year so far. In at number five, it's Strictly's Giovanni Panice. Today is Rihanna's birthday. How old is she? 28. No, she's 33. Oh. 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 What is the name of the Downing Street cat who this month celebrates 10 years of living there? Oh. Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Larry. It's Larry. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Across the whole 2020 series of Strictly Come Dancing, what was the total number of judges' points scored by all contestants? <laughs> Bit of you got it. <laughs> 300. No. I'm so sorry you are. You are close. It's only 2044, which means you're wrong, and we need to super slam yeah! you! Yeah! Yeah! At four, Tracy Beaker's nemesis, Justine, a.k.a. Montana Thompson, gets a good splashing. <laughs> Who was Tracy's first kiss win? Ben? No, it was Wilson. Slime ho! <laughs> Nathan, Lowell, Bouncer, Tracy, Adele and Justine formed a band, but what song did they sing? <laughs> Stomping round blue slime <laughs> In seconds, how long was the film Tracy Beaker's movie of me? 6,870. All right, well, the answer was 4,140. <laughs> In third place, WWE wrestler Lewis Howley proves our slimes pretty deadly. BTS oh, broke the record for the most views in 24 hours with their new single. What was the name of the song? Uh, hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> nope, it was butter. Slime yeah. In 2016, WrestleMania set a new WWE fan attendance record. But how many fans were there in the stadium during the match? 
98,522. Very confident with that. You worked it out pretty quick. Yeah. Final answer? 101,763 fans, which obviously means you're wrong. Yeah. And in second place, taking a big dumping of slime, it's Annabelle Davis. In Scotland, there is a bank holiday to mark the birthday of their patron saint. Who is he? <laughs> slime <laughs> In what year were bank holidays first made official? 1990, I don't know all the questions. 1871, Slime <laughs> Bank holiday falls on Monday the 3rd of May is in 2027. How many days away is that? Like 10,603. 2,192, oh, which means we need to do yeah! In at number one, it's Melvin O'Doom. On Tuesday, Manchester City lost 3-2 in the Premier League, but who did they play? Football. Arsenal. Brighton and Old Albion. Simon! Oh, Last Saturday, Ariana Grande got married, but to who? Oh, that her boyfriend! Dawn Gomez, Simon! <laughs> Radio 1 launched over 50 years ago, but how many days has it been since the station was first broadcast <laughs> to the nation? 50,000. And six. The actual answer is 19,593, <laughs> which means it's time to super <laughs> oh, Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Hello there, I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punish Mode! Yeah! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear. Honestly, silence it, God. Now the trial is about to begin. No, you get it out of my side! <laughs> Not I have a celebrity trial. This trial, you rascals! Rasheen and Kia, you have been found guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence, anything? <laughs> Objection of me too! Objection of me, dare! I must now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Hark's core attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Roisin and Kiara in a series of tough questions. Now, if our stars get the answer right, they get one point. Uh -huh. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush days when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Roisin and Kiara, it's time for you to take your stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts <laughs> No! <laughs> Which footballer won the Ballon d'Or this week for the seventh time? <laughs> Marcus Rashford. Messi. Slime the yeah! Top of the Pops is coming back for a Christmas special. Name one of the Radio 1 DJs who will host. Nick Grimshaw. John uh, Ronald. Ronald Slime <laughs> Risk of extinction in the UK this week. Uh, 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 red squirrel. Beavers. Weasels. Slime <laughs> This week, which country removed Queen Elizabeth II as its head of state and became the world's newest republic? Oh, Barbados! Which Little Mix member will star in a new Christmas film called Boxing Day? Jemima Puddle Duck! End this year. Who? What? What? On what date will Hanukkah end this year? Uh, Yesterday. What? Today. Eighth of December. Tomorrow. You're very close. It's the sixth of December. Who no! <laughs> was crowned BBC Women's Footballer of the Year this week? Uh, uh, Emma Thompson. Vivian Medina Slimer. Prime Minister has been reappointed after resigning last week. Resigning, sorry, last week. But what is her name? Anna. 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 Magdalena. Oh, I'm gonna go on one. Slush this has been served. How are you both feeling? <laughs> I, I thought so. Do you want to know how many you got right? Yes. One. Just the one, which means you're not off the hook, but you can have more points. Would you like to... Yeah, yes. Oh, OK, that's a confident yeah. yes. Well, I said to you to one further question. Time for this. 
Roisin and Kiara, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person. Oh. And you'll add 20 points to your score. Oh, wow. Wow. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. No, no. <laughs> can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question. In what year was tinsel invented? Tinsel? Uh, uh 1927. You're wrong. The answer is actually 1610. Oh, which means yeah. it's time to That. Do you feel like you've achieved something today? I think I drank a lot of this. <laughs> yes, you did. You'll have to drink lots of water after this. And here's what's coming up next. Full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! <laughs> a mean trifle, but people say it's too custody. <laughs> custody. Oh, get out of here. It's a legal joke, people. Custody. I don't need to explain it. Right then, Montana, you have been found guilty of crimes punishable by slime again. Anything to say? No. Well, I won't overdo that objection, then no need to carry on, but we will. Let's introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Harps Cora, attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Montana with a series of tough questions. Now, if they get the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slushness when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Montana, it's time for you to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! <gasps> Which K-pop band have announced they're taking an extended break later this month? I don't know. BTS, Slime <laughs> Which football team won the Women's FA Cup this week? Just take a guess. Arsenal. Chelsea, oh. Slime <laughs> What festive item of clothing did the Natural History Museum put on its T-Rex this week? I don't know, but I know that the dip clothes back or something. Christmas jumper. <laughs> <get a paper>. <laughs> <laughs> Name one of the celebrities voted out of last night's I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. Oh, I don't know. Adam or Matty Lee, Slime <laughs> Sheeran has donated what musical like instrument Ed. to be raffled off for charity this, this guitar? week? guitar? Correct! Yeah! yeah. Like Ed. Like what Ed. animal does actress Gillian Anderson play in Christmas animation Robin Robin? I don't know. What animal? Do you want to give it a guess? Robin? No, it's a cat. <laughs> Slime! <Okay. laughs> Which iconic video game celebrated its 25th anniversary this year? Oh, was it uh, San Andreas? No. Who? Say that again. Which Sorry. iconic video game celebrated its 25th anniversary this year? I, I don't know, but someone just said it. Lara <laughs> Croft, two red and slime on. <laughs> Which Isle of Wight duo were named in the running for BBC Radio 1 Sound of 2022? I don't know. Wet leg slime <laughs> What's Sorry. the name of the storm that caused weather warnings for the UK this week? Oh, um... <laughs> storm, it begins with B, it's... Can't remember. Barra, slime <laughs> That's it! The time! The time is up! I missed it! Oh, my goodness, Montana, Montana Slompson. How are you doing? Not good. No, it doesn't look him. I can tell you the amount of points you got. One. Just one. Just the one. It's better than last time. It is better than last time. It's an improvement. Do you want to improve yeah. that improvement more by adding more points? Yeah. Oh. You know what's coming. You've done it before. I sent it you to one further question. Time for this. What? What? Montana, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Yeah. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. Mm, no, no. So can I have some tension music, please? Here is your ultimate question. Montana, how are you feeling out of interest? Yeah, really, really happy. Yeah. Hey, you look good, you look good. Just that wasn't the question, Thank you, babe. Just to let you know. All right, here is your ultimate question. The first ever episode of the story of Tracy Beaker was broadcast on the 18th of May, 2002, at 3:32 p.m. <clears throat> 
How many days ago was this? <laughs> Remember, it was 3.32 p.m. But, yeah, 1,000 days yeah, ago. Yeah, crucial information know. there, Joe. I Would don't know. Would you like know. to take a guess? 30,000 days ago? 30,000 30, days ago? ago. Sorry, Montana, you're wrong. The answer is 6,735, which means <laughs> it's time to super sign up! This compare to last time on the slimy zone. Um, I think last time I, it was. I think it's just as bad. It's just as cold. Good stuff. Wow. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime of Punishment. Oh, a tear, a tear. Sally Sink on a tear. If you're thinking about appealing, don't bother, my friends. I'm already appealing this banana. <laughs> it's, a, it's one of your five a day. See ya! That's strange. Snooty Shy, you have been found guilty by the mashup jury of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? So I just want to say, like. You Objection, know. Oh, no, my okay. God! Right. Snooty, oh, I must okay. now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Harps Core attorney at law in just a moment. I'll be cross-examining Snoochie Shy with a series of tough questions. Mm. Now, if our star gets the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush disc oh, when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Snoochie, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts <laughs> now! <gasps> this week, a supermarket announced that they will be selling tearless onions, but what is their proper name? Oh. Iceland. Sonian. Slime yeah! oh! Harry Styles. <laughs> Harry Styles, Billie Eilish and Kanye <laughs> West have all confirmed to headline which famous Californian festival this April? I don't care. Coach yes! Yes! Slime yes! <laughs> <laughs> American actress Dove Cameron. My eyelashes falling off. Today. How old is she? Give me a number. Give me a number. 48. 26. <laughs> A supermarket chain announced they were removing the use by dates from which product? Yeah. Any product in a shop. Pears. Milk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> which tennis player uh. had their Australian visa cancelled this week? Tennis player. Uh, Serena. Serena. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> a bitch. Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> which <laughs> which long-running famous TV soap started filming on their brand-new exterior set on Tuesday? A TV, TV soap. Any TV soap? Oh, what? The extenders? Yes! Yeah. Correct! Oh, yes. Sorry! Maya Angelou has become the first black woman to appear on which US coin? Uh, oh. um, the, 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 the dollar. 25 cents. Oh. Oh. <laughs> which Disney film has this week won the Golden Globe for best animated film? <laughs> it's gonna be... <laughs> I don't know, Mickey Mouse? Encantos! What? <laughs> Oh, a guide know? dog has given. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 I know that there's eyelashes just everywhere right now. Snoochie shy, not Hello. so shy. I can tell you, Snoochie, that you're actually hot. Do I know? Yeah. One question. Oh my God! God. Wow. Now, Snoochie shy, would you like to add more points to your questions and your score? I'd love to. I can I'd tell you. I'd love to. Well, in that case, please it, do. I send this you to one further question. It's time for this. Nucci, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Woo! But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. So, can I have some tension music, please? I can't tell if this is the bogey or the slime. It's a mixture. It's probably a bit of both, to be yeah. honest, Nucci. Right, here's your <laughs> ultimate question. During this year's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, the final campmates left on day 20, but... How many minutes are there in 20 days? Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, my God! OK, I'm going to go with... 25,001. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, that was a pretty good guess, but you're wrong. Oh. It's actually 28,800, which means it's time for <laughs> Super Slime! <Yeah! laughs>
catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, silence! I will not continue until I have a lawyer present. Ah, oh, lovely, this present will be perfect for my lawyer. I hope it's not breakable. It kind of was. The band for Mandy in the band, you have been found guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? Anything to say? Not guilty! Yeah, no, Jackson! No, no, Jackson! No, 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 stop it, silence on dare. I now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm heart score attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining the band with a series of tough questions. Now, if our stars get the answer right, they get one point. But if they get it wrong, they'll be dealt with some rough slush this when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, the band, it's time to take to the stand. <laughs> Your 90-second interrogation starts now! A song from Disney's Encanto is number one in the charts today. What is the title? Bruno. 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 You, we don't talk about Bruno. Correct! A YouTuber found a new species of what insect this week in northwestern Thailand? <laughs> any any species? A stick insect. It's a tarantula. Slime <laughs> to the best ideas to help recycle what type of space waste? Oh, uh, uh, um, uh, bits of machine. Poo and pee. Oh, Slather! British wheelchair tennis stars Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reid have rocketed to another Grand Slam victory after winning which doubles title? Mixed doubles. The Australian Open. Slather! Oh, Zara Rutherford has become oh, the youngest woman to achieve what featuring at 19 years old? Oh, what's her name? Fly solo around the globe. Sign up! <laughs> a dog was rescued from danger this week after which food was dangled from a drone to lead it to safety? Pizza! Sausage! Oh, no. sausage. <laughs> Dave, Dave Riding has made history winning Great Britain's first ever gold medal in which World Cup sport? Football. Golf. Alpine skiing. Slime them. <laughs> Which singer-songwriter released new single "Anyone for You" at the stroke of midnight on Friday? I can't even hear you. I can't hear you. Oh well, George Ezra. <laughs> slime them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay then. All right, slushies has been served. Feeling all right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got one question, so right? That's very cool. Hey, you can have more points. <laughs> Get ready for this. I thought this was a rehearsal. <laughs> the band, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio, three people plus you land. 20 points to your score. <laughs> Get it wrong. You'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. <laughs> can I have some tension music, please? <laughs> right, everyone. The band, listen carefully. This is your ultimate question. It's our 100th episode today, Ooh. but how many minutes have we been on air on CBBC over those 100 <laughs> episodes? 525,000. 1,200. You're locking it in? Well, more. guess what? You're wrong. More, the more. answer is 14,100 minutes. Oh, 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 Enjoy. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime on Punishment! Oh dear, oh dear! Quiet, come on, silence, oh dear! I take this hearing very seriously. <laughs> Don't like it? I'll leave them on. Well, 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 <laughs> Ghislaine. Look who it isn't. The mashup jury have found you guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you? Well, there's no point now. Oh, touch it, I'm old. I now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Hearts Paul attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Ghislaine with a series of tough questions. Now, if our star gets the answer right, they get one point. 
But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush fists when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. In the face! So, Ghislaine, <laughs> it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! A new worm was discovered this week with one head and hundreds of what? Feet! Bottoms! No! Yeah. BBC Three was relaunched as TV channel this week, but what was the last program to be shown on the channel before it moved online in 2016? Give these, it a guess. These standards. Top Gear. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Which men's tennis Grand Slam title did Rafael Nadal win on Sunday? That's tennis. Oh, like tennis. the Australian Open. Correct. Yes. Scientists in Israel recently taught which species of animal to drive. Um, monkeys. I can't believe I'm saying this. A goldfish. Oh, what? Oh, no! How did the men's Premier League football club spend in the January transfer window? How much? How much did they spend? For 100 million. 295 million pounds. Oh, no! This week, Longleat Safari Park announced the birth of which kind of animal? Giraffe. Giraffe. A koala. No! NFL legend Tom Brady announced his retirement this week. How many Super Bowls did he win? Any number? Uh, 25. Seven. Slime up. What? <laughs> Which newspaper purchased the game Wardle this week for a seven-figure oh, sum? The, the Times. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Who was announced this week as a new patron of the Rugby Football League and the Rugby Football Union? Uh... Duchess of Cambridge, Slimer. Oh, oh slush this has been served. We've got two, right? How do you feel with two? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I tell oh. you how you want more, you want more. So we can send us you to one further question. <laughs> Time for this. question correctly and you leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points Yay! but if you get it get wrong it. you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal oh no can i have some tension music please galane here is your ultimate question how are you feeling i want to cry oh don't cry <laughs> there's more to come here is your ultimate question how many episodes of eastenders have there been to date oh. You're in these standards. <laughs> um, uh, five thousand. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Oh, I don't know. Any number. Ten thousand six hundred and seventy-one. Okay, is that your final answer? Yeah. You're wrong. <laughs> the right answer is six thousand four hundred and twenty-nine, oh, no! which means it's time to serve us all. Are you okay? Are you okay? Would you be okay? <laughs> I love it. Some would some say this is a dramatic moment. There's some duff duffs at the end of this. There should be a duff duff now. Yes. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> oh! oh, they're quick on the ground. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. I'm Sludge Rinder, and this is Slime and Punishment! Yay! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! I'm having trouble finishing this sentence. The cat sat on the... Mm, sat on the... Mm. It's meant to rhyme with... I don't know! Goodbye, but... Well, 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 if it isn't Star, you've been found guilty of crimes punishable by Slime by the mashup jury. Anything to say in your defence? Like Objection right overruled! Oh, what a thing to say! You! <laughs> oh, it's not a pantomime. Um, I must now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Harp Score attorney at law. In just a moment, I'll be cross examining Star with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. Mm. But if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slush disc when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Star, it's time for you to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts now! <laughs> the future of Australian soap Neighbours was plunged into doubt this week, but what is the name of the famous cul-de-sac where the show is set? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ramsey <laughs> Street! <laughs> Bedtime 
bedtime stories tomorrow. What is the book called? I didn't even hear the question. The owl who was afraid of the dark side. <laughs> the Brit Awards took place on Tuesday. How many awards did Adele win? Three. Correct. Yeah. A Russian security guard has been accused of doodling on a painting he was responsible for guarding, but what did he draw on it? Glasses. Eyes. Ooh, slow. <laughs> that which popular cartoon from the creator of The Simpsons will be rebooted next year? Another cartoon, that's not The Anything. Simpsons. Any guess? Family Guy. Futurama, Slime oh! <laughs> Which king declared Valentine's Day an official holiday in 1537? <laughs> I don't know. King Henry VIII, Slime oh! <laughs> This week, footballer Cristiano Ronaldo became the first person to reach how many followers on Instagram? Give it a guess. It's over a hundred million. <laughs> 150 mil. Oh, <laughs> it's actually 400 million slab. Oh! <laughs> what country is currently leading the medal table right now in the 2022 Winter Olympics? Which country? <laughs> Which country? Any country? <gasps> Norway, slab. <Slavo>. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, star. There's Norway. You got three right. <laughs> No, you didn't. You got one right. Oh. I'm only messing. How do you feel? You all right? Oh, I've had a bit of days. Yeah, you are. Well, yeah. the shower cup's working. <laughs> uh, and I said it's you to one further question. It's time for this. <laughs> Star, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. Wow. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't actually be legal. Mm. So can I have some tension music, please? Ooh. Right, Star. Oh. How are you feeling at this moment in time? Um, you know what? I'm feeling really silky. Yeah? Um, a bit cold. A bit cold. Um, and I can just not see out my eye and speak. OK. Oh, well, well, listen very carefully, because here is your <laughs> ultimate question. Nice to have a catch-up. Diversity won Britain's Got Talent on the 30th of May 2009. But how many days ago was that winning moment? <laughs> is this quiz impossible? I would like a guess, please, sir. It's all right, you've got a bit of time to work it out. Which bucket to choose? How many days are we thinking? Just give it a guess. Any number. <laughs> it's 10,000 days ago. OK, is that the final answer? <laughs> Star, I'm so sorry, it's incorrect. The actual answer is 4,641 days Whoa. ago, which means it's time for Super Saiyan! Oh! oh, would you look at this? Absolute star. Could this be a new look for Diversity's tour? Um, I'll, I'll put it forward. Thank you, I'll put it forward to the team leader. Thank you. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Whoa. I'm Snudge Rinder, and this is Slime Unpunishment! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Sorry, I've just started uh, doing an oh dear for the legal team upstairs. They've oh dared coleslaw. Coles Law, Coles Law. Oh, suit yourself! No more Coles Law for the legal team. Right then, Katia, you have been found guilty by the mashup jury. How do you feel, eh? How do you plead? Hmm? Hmm? Very cold. I'm, I swear you've blown. Objection overruled! Don't look into the technicalities. I must now introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Sludge Jody, and in just a moment, I'll be cross-examining Katia with a series of tough questions. Mm. If our star gets the answer right, they earn one point. Oh, lovely. But, mm. but, mm. if they get it wrong, they will be dealt with some rough slashness when they receive a bucket of slime right to oh. the mush. In the mush, in the mush. <laughs> it's time to take the stand, Katia. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. <laughs> what men's football team won the Carabao Cup on Sunday? Liverpool! Correct! Oh, a new species of frog has been discovered in which country? Uh, can you repeat the question, please? A new species of frog has been discovered in which country? That'll be my last repetition. <laughs> the Joe frog. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, it was Peru! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> which English seaside town has been officially given city status this week? 
West Cornwall, no <laughs> South End Slimer. Oh, yeah. Which artist had the world's best-selling single of 2021 with Save Your Tears? Ed Sheeran. The Weekend Slimer. Oh, yeah. World Book Day was celebrated this week, but what year was it first <laughs> celebrated in the UK? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a year. 2000. 1995, Slimer! Oh, a super rare uncut sheet of Pokemon cards went up for auction recently. How much did it sell for? Pokemon. No, 50 grand! No, uh, 127, 910 pounds! Oh. That's not a number what I just said. A museum of the future was just opened in Dubai. What unusual shape is the building? A planet. Is it round? No, it's egg-shaped. Oh. Slime up. Oh. What film based on a video game is currently in cinema starring Tom Holland? <laughs> the Batman! <laughs> Shot it, Slime up. Oh. It's the other man. <laughs> Dippy the dinosaur is due to... <laughs> oh, time up! But time up. Oh, there we go. Right then, Katia, slush just has been served. You've got one whole point. How are you Even feeling? around my face. It is just a bit under the eyes. Make sure it's westerly and easterly. There oh, we go. Uh, now, we can't give you more points because we can sentence you to one further question. It's time for this. Katia, Katia, Katia. Answer the ultimate question correctly and you'll leave the studio a free person. Plus, we'll add 20 points to your score. Ooh, Woo! Nice. But... Get it wrong and you'll be covered in so much slime. It can't be legal. <laughs> no party Can I have some tension music in here, please? Thank you. The ultimate question, are you ready? <laughs> we use 80 litres of slime on Saturday Mashup every single Saturday, but how many litres of fake tan is used on each series of Strictly Come Dancing? <laughs> in litres, please. Who's found litres? this out? <laughs> I yeah. reckon it's about... <laughs> 205 litres. No, is that your final answer? 25 litres. 57. <laughs> it's time for Ultimate Sliming. Here we go. Oh, Ultimate Sliming. <laughs> That was one of the biggest slimers we've done. <laughs> Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> You're in Glasgow. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. <laughs> I'm so Dorinda, and this is Slime and Punishment! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, dear. Steph, please, can you hold this while I get my case? No, you, no, you cannot. Do you know why? Because you can't handle the tooth. Oh. No one can handle the tooth. Even I can't handle the tooth. <laughs> but I do need a new filling. Steph, you've been found guilty of crimes punishable by slime. What say you in your defence? Sam, are you sure you don't want to come? No objection on my rules. <laughs> objection, he's not in this courtroom. He's just over there by the staircase. Now, let me introduce to you the case for the prosecution. I'm Art Score attorney at law in just a moment. I'll be cross-examining Steph with a series of tough questions. If our star gets the answer right, they get one point. Mm. But if they get it wrong, they'll be dealt with some rough slushes when they receive a bucket of slime right in their face. So, Steph, it's time to take to the stand. Your 90-second interrogation starts. <laughs> No! The world's first multi-story skate park will soon be opening in the UK. What month is it set to open? May. Oh, any month. Oh, you're close. It's April. Slime <laughs> A new species of what animal has been discovered in the Galapagos Islands? Spiders. Oh, no, it's a tortoise. Slime <laughs> American footballer Tom Brady just announced this week that he will be coming out of retirement to play for what NFL team? Patriots. No, it's Tampa Bay. <laughs> Astronaut Tim Peake is set to open a new space research hub in which UK city? Any city? Sheffield. Ooh, Leicester Slime! Oh! Last week, Disney released the first photo for their... Uh, sorry, from their new live-action remake of which famous film? Oh, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I need an answer. 
Dip, uh, Cinderella. No, it's Pinocchio. Slam up! <laughs> Sir Pog, Farrah, Clara and Fawn, Ellie Golden are all taking part in a celebrity spin-off of which competition for charity? The uh, Classic. The Great British Bake Off. Slam up! <laughs> Seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton announced that he will be changing what this week? I have no idea. His name, Slabber! <laughs> what British pop group are rumoured to be in talks to headline Glastonbury 2023 for the last show on their world tour? Spice Girls! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it was revealed this week that Frankie Bridge underwent surgery to remove what part <gasps> from her... Oh, it's over. Time is over. Slime her. Oh, OK. <laughs> didn't know that was the rule. <laughs> Do you want to know how many got right? Um, I think it was one. It was one. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get there, but we did. Would you like to add more points? Yes. Yeah, all right, that's a surprise. Well, you can do, because I'm sensing you to one further question. Time for this, run it. <laughs> Steph, answer the ultimate question correctly. You leave the studio a free person and you'll give yourself 20 points. <laughs> but if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in so much slime that it just can't be legal. Mm. Can I have some tension music, please? So tense. Right, Steph, here is your ultimate question. Are you ready for this? Ready. OK. What is the world record for the fastest ice skating spin in revolutions per minute? Give me any guess. What? 50. 342 oh. revolutions oh. per oh. minute. It's time to super oh. 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 Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Welcome to Master Mind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contender. Name? Hi, my name is Eloise Little. Occupation? Um, I work in a cafe at the weekends. <laughs> Special... Oh, and I'm also an actor. OK, OK. Yeah. Specialist subject? Um, it should be Egyptology. OK. I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on that. But instead, you will okay. be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week. So I hope that you've been paying attention, Eloise. Are you ready? Uh-huh, yeah. In a minute and a half. Here we go. <laughs> what social media site did Elon Musk buy earlier this week? Twitter! Correct! Yay! George Ezra has made a donation to the National Trust this week to plant how many trees? Give it a guess. Uh, 900. 17,000! <laughs> Which Britain's Got Talent judge pressed his gold buzzer oh for goodness. the dance group Born to Perform I, I didn't Saturday. even hear you. What did you Any say? judge or for Britain's Got Talent? Simon Cowell. <laughs> This week, but how old is she? Nine. Uh... 118 <laughs> years old. Slammer! <laughs> Which British tennis <laughs> player has this week sp uh, split with her coach after only five months of working together? Who? Emma Raducanu. Slammer! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Musicians Goodness. from across the world are congregating this weekend for the annual Shetland Folk Festival, but how many years has it been running? Give it a guess. No, not tw no, 24. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Who was announced as Radio One's big weekend Sunday headliner earlier this week? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Which British football team beat Real Madrid 4-3 uh, in the Champions League semi-final on Tuesday? Wales. <laughs> and <Chester City. laughs> Which singer was announced this week as leading the Queen's Platinum Jubilee pageant in June? Um. Which I, singer? I, Which singer? Any singer? Any singer? Um. My <laughs> Stop there. Ooh. I have started, so I'll finish. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Eloise. Yeah. Do you want to know how many points you got? No. One point and many passes, but it's all right. Would you like to add more points to your overall score, meaning you get a better score? Bring it. OK. Yeah. It's time for this. OK, here is your ultimate question, Eloise. 
If you get it right, you'll give yourself 20 points. Ooh. But if you get it wrong, you will be covered in more buckets of slime than your IQ point score, which is only 14. Here we go. Are you ready? Just a reminder. Yeah. OK, here is your ultimate question. This is the second episode of Saturday Mashup Series 5. Mm. But how many minutes have passed since we first started broadcasting from our new home in Glasgow this January? The answer in minutes, please. Um... 97. <laughs> just, just 97? Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. Minutes, which means it's time to super sign you! Oh, yes. Attitude gets you nothing, Eloise. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, it's delicious. All oh, right, I advise not to eat it. Oh, here's what's coming up next week on Saturday Mashup. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. Oh, the chair is in the case. It's quite good. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contenders. Your names? Um, Nikita. Oh, you're Nikita? Oh, okay, no, then, I'm then, then I'm Nancy Shu. Great, brilliant start so <laughs> far. Your occupations? Hi. Oh, <laughs> what do you, you do? Very <laughs> These aren't the questions, by the way. This is just the intro. <laughs> specialist Occupation, subject. dance. Dancer, any specialist subject? Uh, I would say sports would be good. Okay, sports, oh, well, thank you. I'm afraid I would say we... cooking would be good. Too okay. late now, too it late now. It would be good, but we haven't actually prepared any questions on that, I'm afraid. <laughs> but instead, you will be getting quizzed on what's been happening this week. Oh, no. So, well, I, I you've see been the paying already. attention. So, guys, are you ready? No. Yes. OK, yes. well, you have to be in a minute and a half. Here we go. <laughs> Which band announced this week that they will reunite after 11 years apart for a UK tour? Uh, uh, the, the One, one Direction. Thing. Nope, it's Endobs. Slime them! Oh. David Tennant and Catherine Tate were revealed this week to be returning to which sci-fi series? Any sci-fi series? Doctor Who. Correct. Oh. Eight towns. Eight towns across the UK were awarded city status as part of the Platinum Jubilee this week, but which of them is in Scotland? Uh, I didn't understand the question. The Queen, I don't know. The Queen, Simon! <laughs> Which football team won the UEFA Europa League on Thursday night? Uh, Frankfurt! Correct! <laughs> it was reported yesterday that scientists found an entire hidden rainforest inside a 630-foot deep giant sinkhole, but in which country was it found? Any country? Uh, country? Scotland. China. Slime <laughs> Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker got married this week, but in which band was Travis the drummer? Uh, I... The Beatles. Beatles. Big one out I don't know. No. Them. Which presenter hosted BBC Breakfast for the last time on Tuesday? Dan Walker. <laughs> Ukraine came first in the final of Eurovision, with the UK coming in second place. But who placed last in the Eurovision? Uh, you... Germany. <laughs> Slime them. <laughs> Scientists have invented a battery made of algae which has powered what for over a year? A Tesla. A computer. Slime oh. I started, so I'll finish! Oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> well, Strictly Stars, you wouldn't see this slime on the dance floor. You got three points. That's good, isn't it, Nikita? That's good. I don't see it. OK, then. Well, you can have more points because it's time for this. There but might be. If you, <laughs> if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll give yourself 20 points. Oh. But if you get it wrong, you'll be covered in more buckets of slime than you've got IQ points, which is roughly about 14. So, yeah. here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Here oh. is your ultimate question. <laughs> Today is Saturday the 21st of May. It also happens to be the 21st Saturday of the year so far. But... <gasps> How many hours and minutes have passed since the very first Saturday of 2022? 
It's a Saturday. 7,233 minutes and 45 seconds. Lovely. You're very answer. confident with that answer, Nikita, but I'm afraid you're actually wrong. The answer is 3,350 hours and 25 minutes, which means, Joe, it's time to Super Simon! <laughs> Done, eh? <laughs> Didn't get the extra points, but you look the look for the shickly dance for now. How do you feel? Amazing, it just feels so natural. Nancy? <laughs> tremendous, oh, really. They'll be tremendous. <laughs> Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. <clears throat> Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a very slimy shower. Let's meet today's challengers. Your names? Molly. David. That's good. So these aren't the questions, by the way, so don't get to Okay. <laughs> Your occupations? Actors. Pop, uh, pop star. Uh, intergalactic pop star. Nice, very good. Nova's also here. Uh, <laughs> specialist subjects? Um... These pasta. The... Pasta. Oh, yeah. Carbon hour for you, dear. Yeah, carbon hour. Right then. Well, oh, oh dear, um, we haven't prepared any questions on any of that carbon hour business. Oh, but no. instead, I know, right? Who'd have thought it? You will be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week, so I hope you've been paying attention. Are you both ready? Yeah. Yeah, right now, because I'm stood over here doing Harps' um, very formal job, we will introduce David from the design team. Good name, good name. He has been practicing for many years for this moment. Dave, just throw it like you're washing a car. Right then, okay, so in a minute and a half, here we go. <clears throat> the Queen attended the Chelsea Flower Show this week, but what type of vehicle did she tour the site in? Range Rover. Incorrect, it's a golf buggy. Slime oh! them! Oh! Very good, David, right. This week, scientists in South America discovered the remains of an ancient species of flying reptile. How many years ago was it alive? It's in the millions. Five million? It's 86 million! Slime them, David! Oh! Whoa, it's gone in the TP. Um, on Thursday, it was National Thank a Teacher Day. Is that true or false? True. Molly. It's correct! Don't Yay! slime them! You've got a point. Don't slime them's the same. Uh, who won Book of the Year for You Are a Champion at the British Book Awards this week? Was it Slime Me? <laughs> that is correct for you, but it's Marcus Rashford. Slime them! Oh! I heard the slap on the forehead. Uh, the island of Fula in Scotland is looking for a new primary school teacher. Fuller, sorry. How many pupils are currently enrolled there? 30. <gasps> it's four. Slime them! Oh, this is so fun at this side. Uh, a huge asteroid flew past Earth on Friday. What what name was it given? <laughs> this should be the ultimate question. <laughs> no. It's in numbers. Give us some numbers. Um, 73. Ooh, then what? More numbers. Uh, four, five, six. No, oh my god, no, it's 73351893. Yes, Slime them! I can't believe that. Um, an official five pound coin has been revealed to mark the 40th birthday. I've started, so I'll finish. Of which royal? Uh, the Nah, uh, hesitation. Uh, Slime you Normally we slime them at the end, but you got it right. Well done, you get a point. Would you like to know how many points you got all together? Go on. You got two! Woo! Yes, how does this is this like space slime or is it better? Better. Right, well, <laughs> let's make it even better with that, because you can add more points and slime to your eyes, because it's time for this. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. David, you're doing spot on, lads. Well done. Now, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you will add a whopping 20 points to your score. That's good. And in space language, that's 20 points to your score. <laughs> but if you get it wrong, we will cover you in more buckets of slime and then you've got IQ points. It's around nine and a half. Um, <laughs> even I can't, my own throat can't believe that. Right then, here we go. <sighs> the ultimate question. <clears throat> Nova Jones is a singing superstar in a galaxy far, far away. That's you. But how many galaxies are there estimated to be in the obser observable universe? It's in the billions. Uh, 
37 billion. 37 billion is your answer. Well, I can tell you the correct answer is 170 billion galaxies, which means you're incorrect. Super Simon! Here we go! Great. Catch full episodes of Saturday Mashup on BBC iPlayer now. We nearly revealed who you have voted to be slimed this morning. Harriet and Jack can't wait any longer. So let's find out which soap star's getting a sliming. Bella, back to you. Well, with 75% of the public vote, the star getting slimed is... Harriet! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Harriet, come with me. It's oh. time for you right now. <laughs> Jack's very happy, isn't he? Take a seat, it's very comfy, that's the positive. Take a seat, get comfy, cos it's time for this. <laughs> Welcome to Mash the Mind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's challenger. Your name? Harriet Bibby. Your occupation? I'm an actor. And your specialist subject? Uh, uh, mashup. Oh, well, I'm afraid we haven't actually prepared any questions on that. Right. But instead, you'll be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week. So I hope you've been paying attention. <laughs> Hal, are you ready? <laughs> Hal, we're not starting anyway. We have a minute and a half. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> OK. Which boy band announced this week that they were going on a break? Oh, oh I don't know any, I don't know any! I don't know any. <laughs> After 27 years, Microsoft has retired its iconic web browser, but what was it called? Windows. No, it was Internet Explorer. <laughs> Rick Green has become the second longest serving sovereign monarch in history this week, but who is the first? I didn't even listen to the question. Oh, well, it was Louis XIV. <laughs> Which baby animal has escaped and was roaming a Glasgow train station on Tuesday? A goat. No, it was a cow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. David Tennant was spotted filming in Bristol this week for the 60th anniversary special of Which... Don't do! Correct! All right, all right. <laughs> in order to help the economy, what beverage has a government minister in Pakistan urged people to reduce their intake of? Coffee. Tea, close. Oh, no. <laughs> of the UK saw temperatures hit 34 degrees Celsius th this week, but what is that in Fahrenheit? <laughs> Do I look at me? Three. It's 93 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> Which pop star announced their seventh studio album will be called Renaissance and released next month? I don't know. Beyonce. Oh. <laughs> a rare seven foot long bluefin tuna fish was shipped over Spain from Spain to Edinburgh Sushi Restaurant this week. That how much did it weigh? 15 stone. 23 stone. <laughs> An unexpected hailstorm left streets covered in blanket oh. of ice in which South America... Oh, stop there. We are done. We got too excited. Started so well finished. <laughs> Harriet, could you see weather like this on the cobbles? Uh, yeah. I, mean, I can tell you, you got, you got one right. Was it one? I think it was one. One, yeah. you did. You well, you can add more so points because it's time for this. <laughs> No! Ah. That is right. So, answer it correctly and you'll add 20 points to your score, but get it wrong and you'll be covered in so much slime. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> Coronation yeah, Street first hit our screens. Coronation Street first hit our screens on the 9th of December, 1960. How many episodes have aired between then and now? You're in that. 14,002. 10,667 oh. votes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've turned your back! <laughs> oh, my goodness. We need to stop this 
chest and spinning round. Oh. Come here. How do you feel now you've been covered in it? I feel great. You know, I've got a big time. Oh, 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 sorry. All over me sock. Right, here's what's coming up next week on Saturday Mashup. Another amazing show, everyone, and there is more to come next Saturday from 9 a.m. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contenders. Your names? Lord <laughs> Hatch. Mason Sheffield. Your occupations? Actor. Actor. Nice. Your specialist subject? Mystics? Mystics? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, well, I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on that, ladies, but instead you will be getting quizzed on what's been happening this week, so I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? No. Okay, well, in a minute and a half, here we go. <laughs> what type of mummified creature that lived 30,000 years ago was found perfectly preserved this week in Canada? Uh, an alligator. A woolly mammoth slime dog! Oh! Oh! <laughs> long anticipated spooky sequel had its movie trailer released this week? Ghostbusters. Hocus Pocus 2 slime dog! Oh, yes! <laughs> Andy Murray was knocked out of Wimbledon this week, but who did he lose his final match against? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the original lineup of the Sugar Babes performed at Glastonbury last weekend. Name one of the members. One of the Sugar Babes. One of the Sugar Babes. Lisa. Nope. <laughs> Slime there, Lisa. Yeah. The Queen spent this week at her Scottish residence in Edinburgh. But what is it called? Um, Sandringham. <laughs> Palace of Holyrood House. Slime there. Yeah. On Wednesday this week, which country experienced its worst heat wave since records began in 1875? Which country? Any country? Texas. F Japan. <laughs> Slime <Slightly. laughs> Which BTS star announced his solo single and album this week? <laughs> I don't know. They're not listening. <laughs> J-Hope. <Slightly. laughs> Earlier this week, the world's ugliest dog contest crowned its winner, Mr. Happy Face. But what breed is he? <laughs> Alexa Watson. <laughs> President Dog Slime Love! <laughs> NASA revealed this week that a mystery rocket had been identified on which planet? Moon! Moon is correct! Yeah! <laughs> well, that's nice, but I have started, so I'll finish! <laughs> <laughs> there's, hey, there's nothing mystic about this, is there? You got one correct. How do you feel about the one answer, eh, Laura? Um, well, where was the mystic? Ah, <laughs> well, would you like to add more points and maybe make it mystic? Yeah. Right then. Well, good, because it's time for this. Right, so ladies, if you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll give yourself 20 points. Hey. But if you get it wrong, we'll cover you in more slime than you've got followers. So. Here we go. Are you ready for your ultimate question? Uh-huh. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good. Nervous? Yeah. All right, here we go. Mystic was filmed in Auckland, New Zealand, a long way away. But how many miles as the crow flies is that from Mashup Studio in Glasgow? Oh, okay, 11,000... Disgusting. Kilometer. Right, number? Cold. Any number? Uh, how many so, miles? So a little bit less. A little bit Ten. less. Uh, Nine. 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 Right. Thousand. Well, you're wrong. The answer is 11,121, yeah. which means it's Yeah. <laughs> 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 You can watch CBC series and full episodes on the BBC iPlayer app. Download it for free today. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's challenger. Your name? Natalie Ann Johnson. Your occupation? Actor. 
your specialist subject. Castle United Football Club. All right. Well, I'm afraid we haven't actually prepared any questions on that, but instead you'll be getting quiz on what's been going on this week. So I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? No. <laughs> no, it's in a minute and a half. Here we go. <laughs> a wallaby in Northern Ireland returned home safely this week after going on the run. What was the wallaby's name? Wally. Slime her! <laughs> it was Winnie the Wallaby. 92-year-old Derek Skipper made headlines recently for passing a GCSE exam in what subject? English. No, it was math. Slime her! Oh. <laughs> How many UK cities have been shortlisted to host the Eurovision Song Contest in 2023? Five. Seven. Oh, Slime her! So Mark Rutherford has become the world's youngest person to fly around the world alone in a small aircraft. What age is he? Youngest, 20. No, 17. Oh. <laughs> a fan recently amused Harry Styles by throwing what food item at him while he was performing? Garlic bread. A chicken nugget. It's Lima. <laughs> what mythical creature was reported to have, be, to, been, to have been seen on a beach in Norfolk this week? A unicorn. Bigfoot. Slime! Oh, yeah. <laughs> what Hollywood star recently surprised a UK couple by making a surprise appearance at their Northamptonshire wedding? Um Which pop <laughs> Which pop star has made her official return to music with a collaboration with Elton John this week? Britney Spears! Yes! Yay! Don't start her! Tennis legend Serena Williams, it's all over me, is set to retire after the US Open this year, but how many times has she won the US <laughs> Open singles? How many times? 12. It's six. Slime! <laughs> I've started so I'll finish. Oh, just keep going. Oh, oh, no, no, is, is there this much mess on the farm? Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go, you've been here before, now I can tell you how many points you got. Yeah. It wasn't many, it was, I think it was one. It was, it was a bit disappointing. <laughs> size, not doing it. What do you like? I got Any more points? <laughs> um, any more points? Yeah. I don't know, I've always been fond of the number one. <laughs> this one, well, there's more points on the farm, there's more points here. It's time for this. This is time for the ultimate question. If you answer the ultimate question correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score. But get it wrong, and we'll cover you in more slime than there are sheep on Emmerdale. That's a lot. Here we go. The ultimate question is, Emmerdale is celebrating its landmark 50th anniversary this year with the first ever episode airing on the 16th of October, 1972 on Thames TV. But what show was on at the same time on BBC One? Mastermind? Is that your final answer? Yeah. I can reveal. It is What With Mother. It's incorrect, oh. so you have to get the slime! <laughs> oh, no, nah, it's over. You can relax. It's over. Are you okay? Are you all right? Yeah. Worse than the farm or better than the farm? Um, maybe a, a tiny bit worse. Yeah, well, we're going to discuss this. Well, well done. Hi, I'm Alicia, and did you know that BBC iPlayer is the home to lots of amazing dramas in a safe and ad-free space? Download the free BBC iPlayer app to watch full episodes of all your favourite dramas like The Next Step, Jamie Johnson and The Dumping Ground and so many more. Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy chat shower. Let's meet today's challenger. Your name? Katie Hortensio. Your occupation? I am an actor dancer. Your specialist subject? Ah, uh, dancing, acting on the next step. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on that. But instead, you will be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week. Okay. So I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Mm. In a minute and a half, here we go! <laughs> so, this month, an escaped chimp called Chi Chi made the news by returning to their zoo using what mode of transport? Um, a bicycle. <gasps> Correct. 
Which oh. England football star? Oh no, don't slime her. Which England football star had a bus named after them this month? Strictly Come Dancing is back on TV this weekend. How many judges are there on the show? Four. Correct. Yes. Richard announced the release of his first Christmas album since 2003. What is the title of his new album? Christmas time. No, incorrect. It's Christmas with Cliff. Gardner <laughs> Sebastian Suski recently broke the world record for growing the world's longest cucumber. How long was it? <laughs> incorrect. Incorrect. It was 113. <laughs> Which day does the Next Step Series 8 launch on CBBC and iPlayer? 26th. Ew, is that, is that right? What day? What day? Monday. Correct! <laughs> Ethan Nwanyuri is officially the youngest footballer to play in the Premier League, making Premier League history. How old is Ethan? 21. Oh, incorrect! <laughs> to be repainted for its 100th birthday, but in what year was it last painted? Ooh. Oh, that is time up. It was 2012. Oh, I was going to say that. Well, I started, so I'll finish. <laughs> oh, lovely stuff. <laughs> lovely stuff. Right then, OK. Right. Katie, um, yeah. do you feel all right? Uh, great. Well, you did all right. You got three correct. That's quite good, that. But yeah. would you like to add more points to your score of three? Yeah. That's a very good answer, so we love that answer here, because it's time for this. Answer the ultimate question correctly and you'll add 20 points to your score. Woo! Woo! But get it wrong and we'll cover you in more slime than pirouettes on the Studio A dance floor. Ooh. Okay. okay, let me grab the question here. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Here it is. As of June 2022, a Nepali dancer holds the Guinness World Record for the longest dance marathon by an individual, but how many hours did they dance for? We're looking for a number, a number. <laughs> 121 hours. OK, wrong! It was 126! You were so... What? Crazy. To practice your throwing. I'm sorry. Um, how, would you ever see this slime on the dance floor of Atrium? Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, that's that. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy sh shower. Mm, yes, it does. Let's meet today's challenger. Your name? Christelle. All right. <laughs> so I've got lots of attitude. I'm not happy to What's be here. What's your occupation? <laughs> My occupation, I'm a cook and a baker. What's your specialist subject? Cooking and baking. All right, then. <laughs> and do you have any special subject? Cooking and baking. All oh, right. Well, we don't have any questions yeah. about oh, that. Great. But you will be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week, so you better be paying attention. Christelle, are you ready? No, I'm not. Well, you better be <laughs> in a minute and a half. Here we go. <gasps> Designs for an electric flying ferry have been released, which will link Belfast and which other city? Glasgow. It's wrong. It was Bangor. Slime her. <laughs> Question adventurer Ross Egley has broken the world record for the longest ever open water swim in Loch Ness. How long did he spend in the Loch Ness waters? Nice. 48 hours. Oh, wrong again. It was 52 hours, 39 minutes. It was <laughs> Number three, Scotland's men's football team earned a National League promotion this week after drawing with which team? I don't watch football. Manchester United. Oh, wrong. It was Ukraine. Slime again. Christelle, you are not good at this. Today is the very first day in October, but what holiday is celebrated on the last day of the month? You can get this one. Halloween! Yes, correct. Yeah. Most just now. Number five, Harry Styles.
Styles hit, As It Was, has become the longest running number one on the US singles chart by a British artist. Yeah, it How many weeks has this single been at the top? We're looking for a number, a okay. number. Okay, 20... Uh, it's not a number. 19. No, 15. Ah. Slice ah. <laughs> There's 20 seconds left, Estelle. So, Ryan Reynolds teased the return for which X-Men character in his latest instalment of the Deadpool movies? Oh, I don't watch X-Men. Come uh, on, give us an Harry answer. Potter. Any character. Harry Potter! Harry Potter, Harry Potter is Wolverine! Anna! Anna! Time off! Oh, what a shame. I've started, so I'll finish! <laughs> That's a record! That's in a splash spot like that. Now, Christelle, do I dare say, you did get one point. Did I? Yeah, you did get one point. Oh, okay. off ten. Would you like to add more points? Um, as in, no. I don't want to be slimed more. Well, well you're going to get it, because it's here, time. You're going to this. It's time for the ultimate question. If you answer it correctly, you'll add 20 points to your score. Woo! That's nice. <laughs> but get it wrong, and I'm going to cover you in more slime than there are hundreds and thousands in a top of sprinkles. Oh, Christelle, oh, are oh. you ready? No! <laughs> I've got the question here, OK? We go. okay? The longest cake was achieved by Baker's Association in India, but how long was it? I'm looking for metres. OK, right. Christelle. Quick, come on, we're running out of time, we're Christelle. Gonna go 97. Meters, no, it was 5,300. Super oh. slam! Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets slimy shower. Let's meet today's challengers. Your names? Dan, apparently. And <laughs> <laughs> Vicky. Your <laughs> occupations? Radio <laughs> One DJs. <laughs> All right, I just brag about it. Uh, <laughs> your specialist subjects. We've got a specialist subject. What is it? Um, uh, is it really? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter because the next bit's a bit uh, of a I mean, we don't have really anything prepared on that. So, anyway, oh. instead, <laughs> you're going to get quizzed on what's been going on this week. So, I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? Yes. Sure. Great. In a minute and a half, <laughs> here we go. Which world leader mispronounced new Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's name in a speech this week? Yeah, ready? Slime Doctor actor, Doctor Who actor is returning to the lead role for a set of special episodes next. David Tennant. Oh, that's correct, David Tennant. Oh. Which celebrity was eliminated from Strictly Come Dancing last weekend? Jade Adams. Oh, correct. Oh. A ten-year-old girl from Inverness has become the only youngest people to climb every Munro in Scotland. But how many has she climbed? Vicky. Ten. Uh, no slide, that means two hundred eighty-two. <laughs> Taylor Swift's new album has broken the record for the most online streams in a single day. But what is the name of the album? Midnight. Midnight yeah. Oh, correct. Oh. Boxer Tyson Fury announced he will release his debut single to raise money for charity. What song will he be covering? Is this the way oh. to Amaretto? <laughs> no, no, slime them. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> Liverpool Football Club won the Champions League knockout stage by defeating which Ajax team this week? I'm just giving away the answer. Next question. No. Ajax. Slime them anyway. Ajax. Slime them anyway. <laughs> has this week unveiled the collection of trainers made specifically for which animal? Dog! No, it was horses, slime them! <laughs> oh, Hallows Eve is the full name for which annual celebration? Halloween! Correct! Ooh. <laughs> right, the UK is due to send a rocket into space from Cornwall for the next few weeks, but what name has it been given? No, wrong No, Slime them! Oh, it was Cosmic That is it, that is all I've got time for. I have started, so I'll finish! Oh. <laughs> Is. Now that is a beautifully made slime, pumpkin slime. You got a record. You got four points, guys. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's good, Vic. But would you like to add more points? Yeah. No. Wait. Whoa. No. No. We'll take your first answer. It's time for this. First answer. Why? I don't know. No. No. Answer the ultimate question correctly, and you will add 
20 points oh. to your score. Oh. But, 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 get it wrong, and we'll cover you in more slime than there are Radio 1 listeners. Oh, so, oh, here we are. <laughs> Ultimate question for Radio 1 DJs. What year did Radio 1 first start broadcasting in the UK? We want the answer in Roman numerals. Oh, no, that's not fair. Ready? Um, uh, Nine. Na- was Come it on. 1978. One, one, in six, Roman five. numerals. One, one, one X. No, you are wrong. It was <laughs> MC. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Saturday night. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Go. Welcome to Mastermind, where brain power meets a slimy shower. Let's meet today's contestant. Please, tell us your name. My name is Mel Fernandez. Your occupation? Presenter on The Dungeoneers. And your specialist subject? The Dungeoneers. Yeah! Yeah. I love that. I'm afraid we haven't prepared any questions on that, but instead you'll be getting quizzed on what's been going on this week, so I hope you've been paying attention. No! Are you ready? (laughs) No! In a minute (laughs) and a half, here we go. What is the most streamed song of 2022 so far? Um, Taylor Swift. Uh, the prizes for the, ah! the, the prizes for the world's best cheese was awarded this week. But what country was the winning cheese from? Uh, France. Nope. Ah! What special event is celebrated tonight across the UK? Um, um, pass. No idea. Ah! England's women are currently competing in the Rugby Union World Cup, but what is the team's nickname? No idea. (laughs) Former footballer Tony Adams has been wowing the judges of Strictly with his impressive dancing. What team did he play for? Arsenal! (laughs) Harry Styles performed his live show on Monday just as the lead character from which hit musical? Um, oh, Guys and Dolls? Nope. Model Heidi Klum wowed guests in her creepy Halloween costume this year. What creature did she dress as? A web! Yes! <laughs> Which Conservative Party MP will be joining this year's I'm a Celebrity Live? Yeah. <laughs> Who won the Masked Dancer in tw- 2022? Oh, no idea. Yes, my God. 178 men broke a world record in Japan this week, but what did they have in common? Um, a biggest thing. <laughs> nope, they all have the same I've started, so I'll finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yuck. How was that for you? Wonderful. <laughs> you got three right. What so, do you mean? Is, is that good? It, it is kind of good, but do you want to add more points? Um, can I say no? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for this. Oh, no. Answer the ultimate question correctly, and you'll add 20 points to your score. Okay. But get it wrong, and we'll cover you in more slime, and there will be fireworks across the UK tonight. Yay. Here we go. Here it is, your ultimate question. Ooh. How long did St. Paul's Cathedral take to build in days? (laughs) Um, 956. Are you sure? No. Final answer? (laughs) That's my final answer. It's incorrect. It was 12,775 days. How are you feeling now? <laughs> Wonderful! It's a great 
great look. Saturday night. Slops and robbers, we are the slime police, and we're about to send someone down. I'm good slop, and I'm bad slop. <laughs> All right. If you answer our questions correctly, then brilliant, you're off the hook. Nothing to worry about, pops. But if you don't, then you'll find yourself under a bit of a mess. Let's meet today's suspect. Start the tape. Your name. Poppy O'Toole. And do you realise that anything you say may be taken as evidence as reason to slime you? I do. That's the wrong thing. All right, then. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> we will be questioning you on what's been going on this week. Mm. So I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, your 90-second interrogation starts now. <laughs> Which country adopted the euro currency this week? Poland. Croatia, Slimer. <laughs> Which singer who gained second place in the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest sang in the new year on BBC One last week? Uh, uh, uh Sam Ryder. Correct. Oh, 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 oh. Which Portuguese footballer has signed a new contract with Saudi Arabia team Al Nazar? Uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Correct. Oh, oh what? Oh, what? Name, keep the slime to yourself. Name the girl band that's won this year's BBC Sound of 2023. Girls. <laughs> 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 a takeaway owner in Edinburgh is giving away free food for the entire month of January. But what is the food that he's given away? Oh, um, bad Mars bars. <laughs> Pizza, Slimer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> His radio was crowned the winner of the Voice Kids 2022. But which celebrity was her coach? Oh, uh, Alan John. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie, not <Lott> Slimer. <laughs> Mr. Richard Sunak has stated that he wants pupils in school to study what subject all the way to the age of 18? Uh, oh, and at maths. Correct. Yeah. Oh, How many weeks did Harry Styles single as it was spend at number one in the UK singles charts? Uh, oh, um, oh my God, this is so slimy. A um, number. Ten uh, weeks, Slimer. Which oh. country's <laughs> <laughs> government is offering to pay residents to move to... Oh, time is up. Now, for the purposes of the tip, I'm about to chuck another bucket. <laughs> I've, I've just chucked the other bucket. For the purpose of the tape, I'm now approaching Poppy. Poppy, how do you think you did there? She's got three, that's quite good. I, I think I was all right, but I'm very um, slimed. That, uh, yes, and that tells me you might want to add more points to your score, is that true? Mm -hmm. All right then, well, that case, it's time for this, all right? <laughs> Answer the ultimate question correctly, and you'll have 20 points in the score, but <laughs> get it wrong and you'll be feeling the full force of the law. Yeah. Interview <laughs> resumed. Let me get the ultimate question. Here we go. Brace yourself, it's coming. What is the world record for the largest serving of mashed potatoes in kilograms? Ooh. Um. You love potatoes. Oh, ten? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, is it higher or lower? <laughs> It's quite a lot higher. Oh, um, 50. 50? <laughs> the biggest ever? 100. Right, we'll stop right. you there, then. We'll stop you there. It's 1,000. No! And 97.94, so you know what time it is, Jane. <laughs> Super slider. All right, then, here we go! <laughs> I'm going to stand just here because I've worn the wrong coloured clothing. Anything to say in your defence, fuck me. I can't hear you, you see you. Saturday night. <laughs> it's all right. I'm a brown, really small. <laughs> 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 I would have done it for you. Right, 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 listen here. It's time for Slops and Robbers and we are the Slime Police. And we're about to send someone, a.k.a. you, Danny, away down town. I'm obviously the good-looking slop. And I'm bad slop, <laughs> all right? I'm the bad-looking slop. <laughs> and you know what, Danny? If you answer our questions correctly, you will be all right. Nothing to worry about. This is the slime scene. If you get them, if you get them wrong, oh, you're going to be under a mess. 
Well, let's meet today's suspect. Start the tape. For the purpose of the tape, please state your name. Uh, Danny. Lovely stuff. And do you understand that anything you say maybe gives an ab hesitance as well as a tuss like you? <laughs> I have no idea what you just Neither said. Neither do I. Let's carry on. <laughs> right, we'll be questioning you on what's been going on this week. So, Danny, I really hope you've been paying attention. Your 90-second interrogation starts now. Right. Which of David Beckham's children made it your full debut for Brentford B football team this week? Romeo. Oh, correct. All right, next question. What is the name of the book Prince Harry released this week? Spare. Oh, Danny, you're too good at this. Correct. A school in South Gloucestershire are planning to build a library inside what old vehicle? A bus. Oh, that's incorrect. That's an airplane. Yeah. Slimer. <laughs> yes. Which award ceremony took place in Los Angeles this week? Pardon? <laughs> which which awards ceremony took place in Los Angeles this week? The Golden Globes. Oh, yes, correct. Come on, Danny. <laughs> a man in Queensland, Australia, stopped traffic this week to help a native animal cross a road. What was the animal he assisted? A koala. Correct. Oh, right, what is the name of the jumbo jet that attempted to launch a satellite into space this week? No, 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 their first UK number one single last week. Sam Ryder. Oh, incorrect. Oh, oh what? It's like going me. Right, Molly Sampson, age nine, found what fossil on a beach this week? A, a um, dinosaur bone. <laughs> nope. The rock is a slimer. It's a melaglodon. Oh. I thought I said that wrong. <laughs> Shut up. Right, a new tractor was unveiled this week, but what is it powered by? Slime. No, nope. cow poo. Slimer. Cow poo. <laughs> Who beat Manchester City 2 0 in the EFL Cup on Wednesday night? Ooh. Time's up! Time's up! Oh, I'm about to chuck another bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh my gosh, it. So right then, do you know how many points you got? I don't care. Quite good. You got four, you got four. I got four? That's quite good then. Yeah. Add more. Do you want to add more points? No. Well, I'm we're fine. going to. We're I can going just to. go now. I'll just go. We're going, going to. Time. Because it's time for this. Question. If you do, you'll get 20 points added to your overall score. And Danny, you're doing incredibly. But if you get it wrong, you'll be feeling the full force of the law. Aye. It's time for the ultimate question. Aye. Right. The ultimate question is how many individual pages are there all together in Jacqueline Wilson's entire <laughs> Tracy Beaker book series? Whoa. We're looking for a number. A number. 32,005. I mean, you're pretty close, but 1,440 <laughs> pages, you're incorrect. That means it's sliming time! Do you have anything to say in your defense? Yes, I'll come back next week. You can if you want. someone down. I'm good slop. And I'm bad slop. Now, if you answer our questions correctly, brilliant, Daisy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> but if you don't, you might find yourself under a rare mess. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's the <meet>. joke. <laughs> Let's meet today's suspect. Start the tape. Now, for the benefit of the tape, can you please state your name? Daisy Campbell. Good start. Now, do you understand that anything you say may be taken as evidence as reason to slime you? Yes. Yes. yes right, good, right, good, good. Now, we will be signing you on what's been going on this week, so I hope you've been paying attention. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, your 90 second interrogation starts ah. now. OK. <gasps> Which BBC Radio 2 presenter is set to leave the station after 31 years? Um, uh, I don't know. Ken Bruce Slimer. <laughs> It was announced this week that a new Eden project will be built in which English coastal town? We're looking for a um, Brighton. Morecambe, Slimer. Oh. <laughs> a man who lives in Edinburgh has developed a special type of dissolving what? Powder? I don't know. Dog poo bag, Slimer. Oh, oh I missed. Which pop star announced wow. the greatest hit to world tour this week, celebrating 40 years in the music business? Mm, 
I don't know. Madonna! Uh, Simon! Uh, Which this morning presenter was announced this week to be co host in the 2023 BAFTAs? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know again. I don't know my Not Joe Tasker, Alison Hammond, Simon! Uh, Stacey Dooley and Kevin Clifton announced the birth of their baby girl, but what did they name her? Um, I'm going to guess Grace. Minnie Slimer. Uh, the Spanish woman has become the world's oldest living person, but how old is she? Um, uh, 99. 115, oh. Slimer. <laughs> Who did Andy Murray defeat on Tuesday in the Australian Open Tennis Championship? Um, I haven't got a clue. Matteo Ber uh, Berrettini, Slimer. <laughs> Which Dancing on Ice couple topped the leaderboard last week? Um, uh, Ekin Sue? Niall and Olivia Simon. Sue. <laughs> True or false, the top best selling. Oh. For the purposes of the tape, I'm going to chuck another bucket. <laughs> oh, mamma sita. Um, uh, that was a big fat zero, that was Daisy. I know. Is he like messing like Emmerdale Farm this, where the cows are out? <laughs> a little bit. All right, then. Do you want to add, add some more points to your score? Uh, maybe. All right, don't, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, right, it's time for this one. Uh, the ultimate question correctly, and you'll add 20 points to your score. Ooh. Very excited. But get it wrong, and you'll be feeling the full force of the law. Interview resumed. Okay, here we go. Just gonna turn you around a okay. minute. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Daisy? Yeah. Are you listening? I, I can hear you a bit, yeah. Good. How far is the set of Emmerdale from the mashup studio in meters? Um, oh, God. That's Yorkshire to Glasgow. Uh, this is going to sound really stupid, but like 300 metres. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Daisy, I don't... Right, I'm going to give you a second chance I'm here. I'm not good at math! I've walked that today. Say more numbers than that. OK. I'm going to say... Um, uh, 12,000 metres. OK. <laughs> OK. Uh, OK. Right, it's actually... 342,792. Oh, so <laughs> I wish I'd have answered them all correctly because now I'm just disgustingly slimed. <laughs>